gotta find my feet. Drum beat making up for the long ride. Everybody got the eyes on me. Everybody got the eyes on me. Yeah. Cycle Mayhem Radio, and I'm here all by myself. I don't know where Mike is. I don't know where Rod is. I don't know where Dawn is. I'm just sitting here, and I don't know what to do with myself. So what? I guess I'll just start the show by myself. Whoa, we got a phone call coming in. Hold on a second. Hello, you're on the air. Yeah, how you doing? It's Rocky Balboa. Rocky Balboa? What are you doing, Rocky? Rocky Balboa. What's going on? Well, Rocky Balboa 1, Rocky Balboa <laughs> 2, The Rock 3, Creed 19. Wait, wait, Rocky. It, Rocky was Rocky. it was called Rocky. It was called Rocky 1. Rocky 2. Rocky 1. Yeah. Right. Rocky 1, Rocky 2. And Balboa was by itself. So I'm sorry, Rock. Go ahead, Rock. You know, we just sit there, me and Adrian, uh, Paulie, and, and Mick, and we were like, uh, Wait, 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 Rock, 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 didn't, didn't, didn't Mick die in Rocky 3? Mick ain't dead. <laughs> Mick would never die. Mick, what are you doing? I thought you died. Mick, Mick didn't hear no bell, Johnny. Mick didn't hear no bell. He didn't hear the bell. Oh, he didn't hear the dinner bell. Up in the, oh, I got you. But you said you're hanging out with Adrian, too? Didn't she die in Rocky Balboa? I mean... I'm a little confused. Well, you know what? Uh, you know what? They do that there, but she's there in my eye. Oh, okay. Uh, I got you, Rocky. So, Rocky, what do you want to say to everybody out there? I just want to say thank you to all the vets out there. It's Veterans Day, and I just want to tell the vets thank you for everything you did for me, Rocky, and A.G. Wow. And Nick, and Paulie. 
You know, it, was, it wasn't for those guys. It wouldn't be a Rocky Balboa 19. That's right. That is so right, Rocky. So Rocky Balboa called in the show tonight just to say thank you to Event, And everybody should thank Event today. Don't you agree, Rock? You know what? I think I think you should do what fucking Rocky does. We should just hug a bit today. You know, hug a bit. There you go. So listen, Rocky, go thank you. Go out there and hug a bit. That's right. Go for hug me, a bit. Go thank a vet, man, because today is Veterans Day. Actually, yesterday was Veterans Day, but we celebrated today. Go thank a vet, because if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be sitting here right now. Rocky, thanks for the phone call. I got to start my show now, and I'll talk to you later. Okay, Rock? No, you know what? No, I love you guys. Peace. Peace out, brother. See you later, Rock. Awesome. <laughs> welcome, welcome to Motorcycle Mayhem Radio. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy business. Oh my God. Thank you very much. Thank you for all joining us today. Welcome to Motorcycle Mayhem Radio. Today is uh, Veterans Day, so we like to thank all the vets that are out there. Is that better? Is that better? Is that better? Is that better? No. Is that better? Is that better? Is that better? Oh my God, they're off. Better. They're off. Are they, they're... Are you sure you're turning the right microphone? I don't know what I'm doing over here. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? Is that better? Yeah. Too okay. Loud. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the show. Again, today is Veterans Day. Please go out there and thank a vet today, man. Those those guys are so important to us because we wouldn't be sitting here today and doing what we're doing. Correct. Right? I mean, absolutely. You know, we love all the vets and we support all the vets and, you know, just get out there and uh, thank them. Thank them. Hug them. Absolutely. Yeah, hug them. Yeah. Do whatever. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, so what's up, guys? Hey, how you Girl. doing, buddy? How was your weekend there, Mr. Oh, my Road weekend Captain? was awesome. What did you do? I did a lot of stuff, actually, man. So, uh, we went out to the winery on, on Saturday. Yeah. It was a nice little ride out there. A little windy. Oh, uh, yeah. It was a webby, webby, yeah, webby, 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 windy, windy day. Webby, webby, webby. It was a very <laughs> windy day that day. Yeah. But that, yeah, that's cool. That's a nice ride, man. You go out it to is. the wineries with the bike, you know? It is good. It's a good day out. It's a great, you know, 25A Sound, yeah. Sound yeah. Avenue. Sound, well, but, you know, we take the expressway down. And, yeah. And we go to the... I, I won't do that. I'll, I'll, we'll jump... From here to the side streets to 25A and take 25A, oy vey, 25A, oy vey, right? 25A all the way out, you know? So it's a beautiful ride the whole way. It is. Because 25A is actually, believe it or not, one of the nicest motorcycle roads in the country. It is. They say it is. That's It's, it's up there. So, you know... Oh, excuse me. I have the. Uh, you have the. Starting? You're drinking the seltzer. Right. And I got the burps. Well, I'm very geishas today. I got a lot of. Geishas? Yeah, geishas. Very geishas. That's a new word. Wait a second. Geishas? And, and my nipples are hot. Oh. oh, Jesus. Come here, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, come on. It's a man's show, for God's sake. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> stop, stop being that way. I'm right? sorry. With I your, apologize. With your fucking gas shit. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, no, 25 is an awesome ride, man. We, you know, we, we did it last week in our car. Yeah. <laughs> no, that wasn't fun. But when you're on your bike, it's a lot of fun. It is. You know, all the wineries. And that's actually um, a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, whiskey. Not whiskey. Uh, a moonshine guy out there, too. Well, so almost isn't, isn't that whiskey? No, the, where's the moonshine? Moonshine. Oh, moonshine, moonshine. Is, I don't, is, I don't it real, is it real moonshine? Or? Yeah. I don't know about the real, yeah. and like you know, I, you distilleries. Know, you kind of get blowout. Distillery is not <laughs> right. Blowout will make you the real moonshine. Right. You know, the guys from Texas Iron will make you the real um, moonshine. That's five days away. The root beer moonshine was amazing, amazing. by the way. Mm -hmm. So uh, we got in the studio today. We have the road captain, of How course. You doing? Hello, hello. Okay, we have Mr. Rod Mohica. Wait, oh am. man, I messed that up, man. Hold <laughs> on, I gotta do that again, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mr. Rod Mohica. <laughs> yeah, he said it right. Yeah, he and, did. He and, did. And of course, 
We also have <laughs> Dawn Marie Rizzo in the studio with us, too. So this is a show. This is Motorcycle Mayhem Radio. This is a show about the biker lifestyle. Okay? I say this every week. I'll say it again. I am not going to build you a motorcycle. Mm-hmm. Rod definitely ain't going to build you a motorcycle. Mike might be able to do something. I think he ain't doing shit. I chase the but, oil. Uh, <laughs> I can chase the oil on it. That's about it. But this is the, this is the, uh, the Biker Lifestyle show. You know what I mean? You want to give us a shout? 877-917-5263. I'm talking like Trump. You see what I'm doing? I'm like, and like, and, hey. and they're looking at Rod. Oh, yeah. Wait. Jesus, you thank, thank you for Jesus that. Jesus Christ. They were looking at Rod. Sorry, yeah. sorry, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, for that. Oh, come on. Um, you, it was the beast of LBL. <laughs> <laughs> Half man, half half man, half wolf. <laughs> half something. Hell, yeah, right? I tell you, right? Oh, shit. Of course, well, I can't find it. Isn't it. that called half ass? <laughs> but uh, <laughs> if you You're guys walking got, home. Uh, oh, that's why you guys drove together, right? Yeah, we did. Oh, the new love is here. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> we got, got a bromance. If you guys want to give us a shout at eight seven seven nine one seven five two six three, the phone lines are open. We are hanging out here tonight, and. Um, Jay Morris. Is Jay Morris on the line? Question. She's out there. We had the 6,000th like nice. this week nice. of the show. And we have a name, too, but I don't remember the name. That's why I'm saying is Jane there. The maybe name of what? Can, what? The name of what? The 6,000th 6, 6, like, like person. Oh, oh, okay. No, no, we liked something 6,000 on. <laughs> It'd be porno then. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but 10,000. <laughs> yeah, right? But uh, we have we do have the six thousand liked on the show, and we have almost seven thousand followers, man. Nice. Thank you all. Keep it going, man. You know, go to our, our page. You know, sometimes you don't realize, but people are watching the show not on Motorcycle Mayhem Radio. They're watching right. it. They could be like in a group, you know, Texas Iron or Bike Express Nation, watching and watching the show from there. But <clears throat> if you go on the actual show page, Motorcycle Mayhem Radio, like our page and follow our page, you will get notified. Every time us idiots are on. Yes. All right? So that that's part of that. So, you know. Idiots. Idiots. Okay. Oh, right. Morons. You like morons better? No. Oh, we got oh. a call coming in already. Already. Jeez. Hello. You are on the air. Motorcycle Mayhem Radio. I just want to say hello to Mike. Hey, how you doing, Johnny? Hey, Johnny, how are you, sir? <laughs> oh, wow. I, I figured Johnny knew my voice, but I didn't know Mike knew it. Hey, yeah. listen, I, I have about working these lately. I remember everything. <laughs> Trust me. He knows your uh, voice. Yeah. He's been bullshitting you for the last <laughs> eight months now. <laughs> yeah, we'll be there Tuesday. Well, I tell you what. I would, I def- I would definitely I be there tomorrow, man. I, I, I believe you, but when yeah. I see you, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll be I'll, there I'll, definitely I'll, tomorrow because yeah. I'm going to be in the neighborhood anyhow. I, so. I got 10 bucks on that. Do you? Do you? Yep. Anybody I, else? Well, like I said, I was going to invite you all down. Ron, Ron and then Dawn. <laughs> Can come down even with Johnny, even if you right. don't want to come down. You know, don't, don't, wait, 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 hold on. Let's let's right. talk about this a second. Yeah. Do we have hot dogs? Do, do you have a cake that she can yeah, pop no, out of? No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no cake. But uh, it didn't start till six thirty. You guys should know that. You know, All you right. mentioned enough times. No, I'll be there. Yeah, I'll be hungry yeah. too. No promises, yeah. but we will try because we do have a lot. I, I know. Yeah. I, I just we all going on I know, the road. I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah. Listen, yeah, I know. Well, like I said, I. You were too busy last week. I heard you on the air, but you, you mentioned me on the base, but I mean, you were busy with all, all the stars kind of calling in. Yeah. I didn't bother calling you in. We had a lot of stars calling the show yeah. last week, man. We had a I know, life. that's why I left you alone. <laughs> <laughs> you, didn't have, you, didn't, you didn't have to hear from me. But, but we love uh, hearing like from you. Said, you know? Absolutely. We love hearing from you. And Mike said, I love lying to Mike every week. <laughs> <laughs> lying to John every week. Hey. Lying to Mike. Uh, okay. I, mean, I, mean, I knew you had the right yeah, uh, wrong name, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> and also, we got a Christmas party coming up too, you know, December. That uh, you know, we're not getting any gifts. To make. Like, we're, getting, we're gonna get coal. I got coal. I got <laughs> coal coming. We're getting coal in our stockings for not showing up to the debate meetings. Uh, but, uh, not a big thing, but it's a, it's a free dinner to all members. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, hey, then we're there. You know. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I did. Right, right, yeah, yeah. Johnny yeah, Johnny busts his too. chops over there, man. But he does a really good job at the abates, man. And he's, you're a good guy, man. So uh, is there steak there? I try. I try. We got steak? No, no it's pasta, not, uh, man. not steak. Uh, pasta. Well, you're there tomorrow night. They might ha- they might give you the menu tomorrow night if you be if you're a good boy. You oh, know? oh. Might, what do we got? Like hot dogs and you know? hamburgers and stuff like that. I love that shit. Tomorrow night is that hot dog, hot dogs and hamburgers tomorrow night. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the, 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 the Christmas party is gonna be. At a uh, at a, uh, a diner in a, at a, uh, in, in farming Farmingville. Farmingville, okay, that sounds cool. Uh, farmingville, not, 
Well, awesome. Yeah. Well, you know, I feel guilty, yeah. and I got to apologize for Mike bullshitting you one more time. Because I can guarantee you, he will not be there tomorrow. You're, you're, I will you be might there. As, you might as well. No way, you might as well give me the ten bucks now, because I'm definitely going to be there. Right. I, listen, I'm I'm making myself a note right now. So. Oh, All right. Well, 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 like I said, yeah. Yeah, if you're in the area, you can stop by the store tomorrow, it's Mike, too, you know, like I said. Uh, you know what? I, I, I was going to stop by there the other day because yeah, I, I was riding, and it was cold, and I'm like, I need a new pair of chaps. Yeah, so yeah, if you, you need a new chair of uh, well, chaps, then, you got to go yeah, see yeah, Wolfman. Yeah. Wolfman? Yeah. Wolfman. That's right. Yeah, Wolfman he's Jack is good on this, uh, And he's so. got all kinds of heating gear in there now, too, you know. Oh, oh does, does he? he? And this is the time to buy, yeah, this is the time to buy that stuff, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, no, I don't know if you're talking about the heat there. Uh, the, yes. the vest and, and jackets. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, man. You know, no shit, definitely. Oh, yeah. But um, all right, so well, I'll be plugging Wolfman yeah. later on. But uh, okay. listen, okay. John, thank you so much for calling yeah, the show. See you tomorrow night. Yeah, yeah okay. we'll definitely Have see you tomorrow. One. I hope to see you tomorrow night. You got it, brother. Yeah, right, yeah, right. You're both, I, I can see you both laughing now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, no, John, Johnny, seriously, what time is it? What time do I have to be there? It starts, it starts at 6 30. All right, I'll you be there. 7 05, you get no. No food at the seven oh five. I'll, I'll be there at six thirty, brother. I, prom- <laughs> I promise this time I will show up. Okay. Yeah, you know why? Because I'm gonna get ten dollars from Johnny over here. Oh yeah. You know, you know where it is. It's at the firehouse. Yeah, it's at the firehouse right. in my car. Come on. Yep. Okay. okay. No, I figured you go to Sutter and shit. No, no, it's at the <laughs> firehouse in my car. Come on. Oh, okay. Excellent. You got it, man. All right. See you later, buddy. All right, bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Good, good guy. Good uh, guy. We had a phone call coming in. I'm gonna. Another one? Yeah, man, from Arizona, man. This oh, is hey, it's Sparky here. Chris Sparky. Who's that? Sparky. 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 Oh, let's call Sparky back, man. So when you're calling him back, I just want to give a shout out to a couple of old vets out there. Go ahead, please. All right. Hey, Johnny Rip, he's with the USS York County, man. You right. know, he was in uh, Korea and stuff like that. A real good guy. He's older than dirt, but a really good <laughs> man. And my brother over there from the first, the first front, man, they're really good guys. You know, Brian... Uh, uh, Delabran, you know, and um, and, and Re- uh, Recon, they're really good guys out there. If you guys want to do Toys for Tots, you go on their page, you can see where they are. But And John Sharp Jr., real good guy, NYPD detective, good friend of mine, and uh, was over in uh, a couple of tours in Iraq and Iran, so in, uh, in uh, Afghanistan. So really good people. God bless you, man, and thank you for your service. Thank you yeah, very much, you. man. That's awesome, Mike. <clears throat> and there's so many more vets out there that need the thanks as well. So, yeah. but um, what were you saying now, Rod? <laughs> no, I'm gonna make a uh, quick. Sh- I'm gonna make a quick shout out to a friend ahead. of mine who does a lot of work with uh, the vets. Um, Time's happy up. Happy 60th birthday to Bobby Butch Ralph, a uh, good friend of mine. No, we'll God this. bless you for all the work you do with the vets. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you. Excellent. Yeah, that's great, man. Fantastic, Rod. Uh, you know what? I should have put the camera on you, Rod. So. Right. <laughs> Wait, but this this is a show about, about the us. about the vets and the bikers. So, because hand to hand, they go together. You know. Oh yeah, no doubt, man. So yeah. if you guys want to call in, just get up and call in, right, yeah, Johnny? We're gonna give uh, Sparky a call back right now. Da-da-da-da. Sparky, Sparky, I had one shoot. ringy dingy. Yeah, is it ringing? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Hold on. I don't hear nothing. There oh, we go. There we go. Where's this Arizona? Hello. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I told you I was gaseous. What's with the sound effects? What? Sparky, answer the phone. He's like, I ain't answered. I ain't answered. He goes, I don't know this number. <laughs> you just call this Sparky, pick up the phone. <laughs> How's it low for Jesus speaking? Hello, <laughs> this is Motorcycle Mayhem Radio. What's up, brother? Oh, hey, Johnny, how the fuck are you? <laughs> oh, I thought I'd call and tell you that me and Don are having an affair. Oh, nice. good, good. We don't good. know where it's going to go yet. Okay. So, like, I got to get my wife out of the fucking house so right. we can move on like, forward, right? <laughs> yeah. I, I can tell you where it's going. Nowhere. <laughs> oh, I know, right? Right? The fucking I know I sit here and just whack off all by myself. Yeah. Oh, up, right? hey, yeah. Okay. Hey, join, join the most of us. That's what we do. Oh, my God. <laughs> so how? <laughs> so when is she leaving? <laughs> I don't know. As soon as I kick her out. Hey, Suzanne, yeah. when the fuck are you getting out of my house? Wait, oh, I thought you were... More importantly, when is she coming here for oh, me? I just oh. She said she's not leaving. Oh. Hey, listen, I got an idea. How about doing a white swap? 
You do a wife swap for like a week or so, see if it you know works out for both of you. Hey, 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 never well, don't give Dawn the out. Come on, man, that's fucking lame shit right there. Yeah, come on, man, that's not even funny, oh, man. On, man. <laughs> that's not even funny. Spark it out, <laughs> oh, I don't know, Johnny. I was watching your program there, and I just thought I'd fucking phone and jack you up. That's I'm, I, I you love when you call in, man. <clears throat> You're awesome, brother. You are awesome. <laughs> we love when you call the show, and you know. Hey. Well, that hey, good brother, stuff. Yes. I got a fucking t-shirt coming your way. Nice. The okay. book's coming your way. Yes, I got to send you my it's address. Come with a t-shirt. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, you said you were going to do that. Yo, you, did you send me your address? They no, spark, I, I will after the show. I'll, Dawn, Dawn will send it to you um, oh. in private message, you know, when, when you meet her. <laughs> just give right. it to me next week when right. I see you. <laughs> you know, Sparky, Sparky, Sparky there's, right there's, two, there's two of us sitting here. So yeah. it's two T-shirts. Yeah, what you, what you, what you want to do? Gang up on me? Don't forget, you got me and you got <laughs> over here. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget over there. All right. Every time you do the beat shit on me, I think my phone is ringing on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Johnny, don't beep shit, man. This no beeping here, man. I'm talking open, but nope. I heard it beep, beep, beep that- shit. That's right. It's like, whatever. That's right. <laughs> Anyways. Sparky, I'll send you my address after the show. Suzanne. Oh, why don't you just put it on air and everybody yeah. can send you shit. Okay. The the address is <laughs> one <laughs> seven <laughs> street <laughs> in <laughs> ac- right. hello. Uh, beautiful. Oh, my fucking God, Johnny, yeah. man. You were... <laughs> you're at, you're, I you're love you, brother. I gotta go. Love you, man. Buddy. Have a great night, my friend. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Sparky. Bye. That, kid, that guy's the shit. I dude. love that guy. He's awesome. They got the, they're sending me a book, okay? The book is going all over the all over the country. And when you get the book, we're gonna sign the book or whatever, and read it, jack off on it. I don't know what you're right. gonna do it. But we're, 68. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna uh, put some stickers in the book. Right. We're gonna sign the book and take pictures with the book, and then we're gonna send the book to the next Person who gets the book. Right. It's all. It's a biker book. And it's all about bikes, man. It's, you know, hey, that's what it's all about. Yeah. But anyway, I started the show. And it's, I, like, it's like the Stanley Cup. It's just, just got to keep on going. And exactly. Going and going. It's that's a great cool. book. Yeah. So, great, great idea. So, Mr. Rod, how was your weekend? Ah, catching up from uh, taking the, basically October off. Oh, really? That'd be nice. Yeah. So what'd, you, what'd you do? Anything to chill out? Relax? Try to chill out. Relax a little bit. <laughs> you know. Oh, but just yeah. trying to get back into reality. Yeah. To basically, working the horn all of October is left things hanging. <sighs> That'd be nice. Yeah. So, so you're going to have a good cigar at the end of the month? I had a good cigar the other day. Did you? Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. So, beautiful cigar. We will uh, be uh, having a Rod cigar. Oh, uh, I don't want to put that up because I've got the wrong date. So, don't pay Rod attention to the date on that. Cigar. That's a great picture, porn. though, Rod. Awesome shit, man. Thank you. <clears throat> but anyway, um, to all your newcomers out there, I'd like to welcome you. And you know what? We had, like I said, we had our 6,000 like. I don't know if he's watching the show right now. Right. But maybe Jane or somebody can tag him. Jacob Wilkinson, thank you. You were the 6,000 like. And if you get in touch with me, Jacob, I will send you a shirt and some stickers and Mike's headphones. Nice. Right? <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm getting new headphones. Get new headphones. <laughs> but, <you> know, <laughs> I went Seven Eleven, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was signing for you too. Yeah, way. yes. We'll, we'll send you some stuff, man. Some some autograph stuff from us, from all crew here, and yeah. all that shit. Six thousand, you know, like it means nothing, actually. To you you know what? The guy, he's a six thousand call, and he gets my earwax. I yeah, mean, that, that's yeah, fucking. That, that's, <laughs> that's good, man. I can't yeah, believe you he's guys. He's gonna treasure it. You guys missed. <laughs> we gotta that do better. Rocky Balboa called it earlier. You that guys missed awesome. that shit. You know, that was, that was cool. awesome. Rocky's a good guy. Yeah, that was a real cool guy, man. You know, he's, he's, he really loves the vets and stuff and, yeah. you know, all that stuff. We were supposed to have um, Ricky Ratman call in tonight, but uh, he's riding, okay? And he's doing a, uh, a run that he's ridden over 12,750 miles so nice. far. Uh, he's raising uh, $22,000 right, to stop the soldier suicide. Okay. Mm, 22 steps. Yes, yeah, so he was actually ending up in the um, the Hard Rock uh, Hotel in Daytona Beach. That's where it's going to end up being. Uh, I'm not sure of the date on that, though. But um, he's actually riding. He got stuck in bad weather, so he wasn't able to call, you know, call us. All right, so we, I'm sure one day he will call us. And yes. That'd be cool. And uh, also, um, what else? 
Oh, uh, we opened up the show with I and Angels from Geneva. That song was oh, awesome, right? She's the bomb, man. She is the best, man. There's good stuff wow. there, man. I just love that broad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't call her a broad. <laughs> Can I say broad? broad? She'll kick the shit right, out of she you. Would. you she would have kicked the shit out She's a lady. Oh, my God. The broad just came right out of my mouth. Yeah. Well, I- <laughs> <laughs> I'll smack him for you, Yeah, I'm sorry, Geneva. <laughs> my God. She'll smack the shit out of you. Like- well, that's a New York thing, right? Yeah. <clears throat> well, yeah, I guess. You we're, know? we're not from the Southern bar. We, you know. Jesus, we don't have that like Gloria Orange. Man, just jump bless your heart. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, give us a shout. We're hanging out tonight. It is a Veterans Day. You want to call in, thank a vet, or tell a story, or if you are a vet, call in. We'd like to thank you ourselves. Absolutely. Eight seven seven nine one seven five two six three. We say right. Or if you work with the vets and you have some kind of events coming up for the holidays for yeah. the vets, call us up. Let us know. Exactly. Thank Absolutely. You Geneva says you can call her abroad. Oh, uh, see? Wow. Until wow. the next time we're in Nashville. I told you I love that <laughs> She's going to drop kick him. Uh, nah. she's, she's a real broad. She yeah. She's a real broad. She, she, she likes, likes it. She's like, hey, Mike, come here a second. Would you call me? Uh, yeah, yeah. You son of a bitch. Would you call me? Yeah, you bastard. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Can I have another? <laughs> Dude, all I know is if, if she comes walking out wearing boots with spikes, I'm running. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm staying. See? <laughs> this is the problem between a man and not a man. <laughs> you come out with spikes, I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Strap me up, girlfriend. She's going to hit you with them. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. We're not hitting. We're stepping and Yeah, you're stepping on us. But, um, <laughs> so, anyway, it's pretty damn cold here in New York, huh? So, the riding in New York isn't doing too much right now. No, listen, I love this weather. Well, yeah. I'm one of those Well, you're not going to go out now, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah? It wasn't that cold. I'll go with you. You see? Oh, I geez. just It makes my lungs feel better. Oh, the bike awesome. runs great. I yeah. just love the cold weather. I love that. Do you have a cold. heating gear or no? Yeah. No. no. Heating gear. Yeah. I don't, I don't have it either. <laughs> I don't have it. I'm just, I'm just asking a question. <laughs> <laughs> it's too cold out. It's too wet out. Doesn't Johnny have a heated seat for the summer? No. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> I have a heated <laughs> seat. And it yeah. vibrates? Yeah. <laughs> he, he needs a heated seat. <laughs> a little. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I don't know who has Bob now. <laughs> 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 The only time my seat's heated is when. That's nice, God. Jesus. Oh my oh, God. Oh man. Well, anyway, uh, anybody who's on, who's watching the show, Dawn Marie, that can we want to say hello to? Um, let's see. I don't know. We got a guy, Austin. First, we got well, Aaron. First, you have to say thank you to Austin. I can't say your last Thank you, name Austin. Because he's a veteran. Oh, Austin, you're a vet. Thank you so much for your services, my we friend. We salute you, brother. We salute you. Yes, we do. Richard Ellis. Re- Reset. Richard Ellis is on. What's up, Rich? Reset. Maybe. Yeah. Aaron's in Vegas. He said it's cold in Vegas. Get out. Uh, wow. Aaron. Curtis. That Martin. guy gets all over the fuck over the place, man. Yeah, what the Jeez. What does he do for a living? He's well, I want his job. I think he parties for a living. I think yeah. that's his job. He's a professional partier, man. Yeah. Curtis Hardy, what's up, my friend? Dave Purdy. Dave Purdy, what's happening, man? See, what's Wayne it? says it's never too cold to ride, and I have it's, to agree. He's never yeah. ridden in New Barry York Cooper's on. <laughs> 10 inches of 10 snow inches on the snow. <laughs> Hello, Barry Cooper. It is rainy in, in Kentucky. Mm-hmm. Man, I miss Kentucky, man. Did we have a good time in Kentucky oh, or what? It was awesome. Oh, that was a fun time, man. Who was that, Alice Cooper, you said? No, that, uh, wait, wait, I lost it. Chris Hopkins is a Navy vet. Oh, hey. Wayne's on. What's up there, salute, Wayne? Salute you, brother. No, you know what? I I agree. I like riding in the in the cold too. But you know what happened to me years ago? Your bull shrunk. No, <laughs> no. <I'm not> <laughs> <laughs> First thing, I'd have balls. <laughs> oh, he has balls. Hey, it's, it's just in the uh, door's pocket. You know what happened? <laughs> I, oh my God! I got my ass kicked. <laughs> Uh, um, Steve Parker is What's up, Steve Parker? a U.S. Army veteran. Oh, oh Steve, oh, thank you very much. Steve Parker, Steve. yes, Chris, the man. Chris Harkins. Like Chris Harkins. Friend, the Navy yep. veteran. Excellent. Thank you, Chris. We salute you, brother. We salute you guys, man. You know, and uh, thank you so much for your services there. Linda Quartz. Marine Corps. Nice. Marine Corps. Marine Corps. Nice. Marine Corps. Step up five, girl. Excellent. Oh, we got a call oh. coming in. Hello, you're on the air. Hey, hey, hey. Johnny? Yes, it is. Hey, hey. You remember me? This is Woodstock. 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 <laughs> yes, Woodstock. <laughs> <laughs> How the heck do you get your radio show? What, what station is it on? <laughs> it's on to find it. It's on Facebook, Facebook Live. Oh. Right now. Oh, heck. I don't, get, I don't do Facebook. Well, so. you're doing oh, it right well. now, sir. 
Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was some time there back in Nashville, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Oh, that yeah. was a great night. Thank you for all your help down there, too, man. Woodstock, okay, oh, yeah, he works no for Scully. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, yeah, what, yeah, I just wanted to call in and say hey to you and Mike. And <laughs> appreciate it, man. And uh, hey to you back, man. We had a blast with you, and thank you for all your help. Great guy. Let me just explain real all quick. All right, cool. Let me explain real cool. quick, Woodstock. Hold on a second. Woodstock okay. works for a, a saloon called Scully's, okay? And Scully's is in Nashville and Old Hickory, Tennessee at Tree, Tree, Tree. Tree, Tree, Tree. <laughs> Swing and Bridge Road, okay? Wait now, this is a biker bar, a, an awesome biker bar. It is the biker bar that is featured in the Vet City video. Yes. Okay? Now, we go there Ooh. and we do a live show from Scully's, which was an honor for me to, to be there. For a lot of reasons. And and, the, and and my audience who I had out there was an honor to, to be doing a show in front of a Geneva, Larry Jobs, and you know, and Lee and Dustin. Every, a lot of so many people were out there, it was unbelievable. And um Woodstock helped us out big time by helping us set the equipment up and I needed a wire to make the phones work because I forgot it in the the, the uh, trailer. Hmm. And he built this device for uh, me, man. Yeah. We built it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you did, and it fucking worked, man. That's yeah. all I gotta say. He's, he's, Wood, we make it work, man. Yeah. Yeah. Woodstock is a mental genius. Man, yeah, he's when he's it comes awesome. to hooking stuff up like that. So if you live in the Nashville area or, or so old you need Hickory, house wired. Yeah, right. <laughs> Go stop by Scully's. I don't do that. No house wired. Yeah. <laughs> Go stop by Scully's Saloon and say hi to Woodstock. You'll have a beer with the guy. The guy's fucking awesome, man. Awesome. Thank you so much, Woodstock, awesome. for calling the show, well, man. I'll let, you, I'll let you get back to your show, man, but yeah. I just want to say hey. Thank you, brother. Right, I'll carry on. Yeah, we'll all see right. you soon, Bye-bye. man. Bye. Bye. Okay, all right. Bye. So that was awesome. That guy's great, man. <laughs> that guy is definitely great. That was from Nashville, Tennessee, man. Mm. What a great time that was, huh? Dude, I had awesome. a blast. Jeez, man. We had, right, this wait, show has been wait, doing wait so Wait till this weekend. This weekend, um, we will be actually leaving here Thursday night, and they're going down to Somerville, South Carolina to go see our man a nightmare. nightmare. And we're gonna hang out with Nightmare. And you know what? Hey, just watch this a second. We'll be right back. Look at these guys here. Hey, we have another phone call coming in right now, too. Awesome. You are on the air with the one and only Motorcycle Mayhem Radio. Who do we got? I thought I was talking to One Shot Johnny and Road Captain. You yeah. are talking to One Shot Johnny right here. What's going on there, Nightman? Not <laughs> <laughs> much, my brother. I've been watching you guys. Hell, I'm still at work. Oh, nice. okay. I hope you're getting that place nice and clean for us. Right. Because Mike is anal that way, you know? I am. I've been uh, I've been cleaning out the shitter for you guys. I've been listening to y'all, so I, I can tell somebody has to have it. <laughs> exactly. So, so, somebody's gonna mess hey, the shitter up there. No, I know why. Looking forward to having you guys come down, buddy. Yeah, man. We can't wait to get down there. We're actually leaving here Thursday night. We're gonna arrive yeah. in Somerville, South Carolina. Uh, hopefully, uh, mid Friday morning, go to sleep for a couple yeah. hours, get up, start drinking. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, why don't, when, when you guys miss Don, I'll tell you, sweetie, I know you're listening to your number. When you guys get awake, why don't you and Don and the road captain holler at me and I'll take y'all out for supper somewhere that night? I know a good barbecue joint. A barbecue well, joint? I, I Friday, you're talking about. Yeah. Right. Don loves barbecue. No. Uh, <laughs> bullshit. Donald barbecue. I know better than that. Who wants barbecue? Hey, uh, 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought so. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had some good stuff over at, uh, where was we at? Hey, we done some new shows together. Camel City. Yes, yeah, Camel yeah, City. The Barbecue. The, the Camel the City Barbecue Factory. Yeah, uh, that best we had, I think, was over at Jane's show. I forget the name of that guy. Oh, that Damn, guy was good. That was, was Fat Sally. Fat Sally. Fat Sally. Fat Sally was in the house. Yeah. You know, oh, man, that, that stuff was off the hook. You, know, you want to hear something funny? I'll tell you something funny. I can't remember when my, my wife tells me to take the garbage out, but I can tell you every goddamn barbecue place we get at so far, Fat Sally's, uh, Gamble City Barbecue Factory. Right. <laughs> I'm, I'm, hey, Rick Captain, you ought to put that on your app. All the good barbecue joints. That way, on the road, we know where to stop and find Johnny at. There, we'll there, there you go. Well, actually, it is, but you guys got to put it on. Mm-hmm. See, it's, okay, it's, okay. it's your app. That, yeah, it's, it's your <laughs> app. You guys put the stuff on. You guys share the app together. It's all yours. I don't want all the good, I don't want all the strip cards there. Can we put them on there? Yeah, Hell man. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, so oh, cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's strip clubs, it's strip clubs a bar, right? <laughs> Yeah, hell yeah. All right. Nice. Uh, anyway, I'm looking, I'm looking forward to you guys being back down here. Uh, the last show we all three did together was... Uh, Off the hook. Bet City. Bet City. City. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, you, you all went down and did Scully's, and me and you went down and did the Titty Fest at Daytona. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And had a good time. But uh, anyway, um, the show here starts at 5, runs until... Uh, Johnny, I thought maybe we'd get done about 10 o'clock shortly thereafter. The, uh, I got to set up with a place that's called, uh, Wyndham Resorts Bar and Bistro. So no, everybody knows where <laughs> Come on, man. Come on yeah. down. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's, that's the after party. party. That's, where that's, that's where you guys are staying at. Okay. Nice. Okay. They're going to hold the bar open from, they usually close at 11. They're going to hold the bar open to 1 o'clock in the morning just for our party. Excellent. It's, uh. Yeah, everybody invited. Well, also, I've got new T-shirts I picked up from the printer Thursday. Any lady shows up after eight thirty because the mayor or someone will be here. We can't be doing that in front of him. But right. anyway, after eight thirty, right? Shows us her booties. She gets a free T-shirt. Yeah, yeah. we love Next that. Next one. Next one. <laughs> Uh, Miss Nightmare Custom Cycle will be here. Okay. Uh, meeting, meeting people and talking to people. Okay. And uh, got a whole list of activities. I got a few uh, special guests that are going to just appear all of a sudden. I think we'll surprise everybody a little bit. Excellent. And uh, we're gonna have we're gonna, we're gonna be a, we're gonna have a hell of a good time. Hey Nightmare, of course, now, Nightmare, are we gonna get what? the key to the city? Yeah. From the mayor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's going to give us the key. Once they let us out of jail, I'm going to give us the key. Well, that's what I'm saying. Uh, Mike, he's going to give us the key to the bathroom. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I figured there's like one jail cell in the the town, so the key to the jail cell. I think the mayor's called our show, and he's he's already getting a special sale just lined up for us. He keeps saying something. He's worried about our safety or something with padded rooms or something. Right. Right. (laughs) 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 That's how, that's, <laughs> I, 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 when I used to get ain't no telling what the hell's happening. You know that? Fuck yeah, yeah, man. So, but uh, all right. Well, listen, man. We can't. We cannot wait to get uh, down Wayne, there. We cannot wait to get down uh, there. I saw. <laughs> yeah, I saw Wayne Penix on there. Yeah. I want to reach out to BTN. Tell them they're invited to come down if we want to. Oh yeah. Oh, um, fuck yeah. We got some other. You know, we got some people coming from Winston Salem already. We got people done notifying me coming. I'm surprised at the distance some people are coming. So I think it's going to be a pretty good show. Okay. Um, got some good giveaways we're going to do that night. Um, I've got a brand new a dual prize. Johnny Minion will talk about later on this week. I got a brand new set, inch and a half beefy bars, twelve inch hidden wire eight hangers. Oh wow! I, I, I can use those night. for my bike. I need fucking eight hangers for my bike. Correct. Yeah, man. Hey, Johnny, do you want to step to your bike? I do want my bike. I want ape hangers for sure. I, no doubt. I got you a set. Yeah. I got another brand new set. I got, a brand, I got another brand new set right now here. I'll give it to you. Well, you got to take my bike down, bike. See that? All right. Not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> got to do what I got to do. Oh, I got to ride a motorcycle. Yeah, hey, that right. sucks. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, See, I'm riding it. Fuck that. You're chilling it. Oh, <laughs> I, I ain't chilling <laughs> shit, though. 
Uh, my shop, Johnny, we, I work on everything, build everything, anything from customs to today. I've been putting eight painters on another bike. But anyway, enough about that. Um, Miss Don, my lovely Miss Don. Yes. I even thought about you, sweetie. I know I done told you, but I went to the bar. They're going to have special items just on the menu for you because I've heard you complain to me and Johnny. <laughs> I don't mind going out with you dumbasses, but there's never nothing on the menu for me to eat. Oh. So they're going to have special stuff on the menu for just, right. just for Miss Don. You know what they? You know what they said. They go. Thank the landscaper you. is that day, so they're going to cut the grass. They're going to cut the bushes, and that's what you're going to eat today. Rabbit food. That's not oh food. Oh my god! Food, damn it! Oh right, man! You got to book us. Uh, you got to book us three some more road trips as first of the year. What? What yeah. was that? <laughs> what? I said you got to book me and you and the road caps and some more road trips as first of the year. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I got plenty of them coming up, man. You know. There'll be plenty uh, of breasts cool. to be seen. Hey, right. bro- hey brothers, you guys, be, you guys be careful coming down. Both of y'all got my phone number. If you have a problem, call me. Yep. Check in. I done told you guys how to check in. Both of y'all got your confirmation numbers. If you got a problem, I got the print out right here. Right. But uh, looking forward to having you three down, Miss Don. Look forward to you having all y'all down here as my guest, okay? Thank Let- you, sir. Can't wait, man. We'll see you in a couple days. I'm surprised they give my room number I- out. <laughs> <laughs> Room I mean, 69. Hey, hey, hey. hey, hey. So it's, a fam- it's a family show. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I love you guys. Love you too, brother. Right, See you later, man. All right, peace. Bye. All right, be careful. Bye. Bye. Okay. So, uh, <clears throat> what the hell was that? Like? I, I don't have a clue. <laughs> she said it right upside down. Shoot. By the way, Mike's room number was 132. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and um, uh, for anyone, um, uh, our, our lovely Rod. <laughs> lovely Rod. Our lovely, lovely Rod. Rod. Wait, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You uh, can't say Rod. Our lovely Rod. Rod. Maybe Rod would be some cigars to give away down there. Yeah, uh, maybe. We could do that. Yeah. Maybe. We could do that. So, all right. I'm looking forward to that. So what, That's going to be awesome, oh, man, actually. We got the Nom Knights. And watch it. We got to say, the, nice. we love the Nom Knights, man. We had a blast with the Nom Knights. Right. One time. We went to go to the um, the uh, Saint Gennaro's Feast in the city, right. and we ended up hanging out the Nom Knights, and we, they had white castles at their at their oh party, my God. bro. <laughs> that's, 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 that's what you remember. <laughs> <The> guy, <laughs> that's what you fucking remember. <laughs> the guys like help it, whatever beer you want, yeah. help yourself, and we got white castles. So, pff, got me sold. <laughs> so, oh man. So hey, what's up, everybody? We did have another phone call coming in. I'm gonna call back right now. I don't know who this is. Let's find out. Do, 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 do. Is it ringing? I don't know. There we go. Ooh. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Who do we got here? This is Ricky. Hey, hey Ricky. Ricky, how you doing? This What's is Johnny up? from Motorcycle Mayhem Radio. Oh, hey, guys. Sorry, my last interview went a little bit long. I tried to call you guys. Oh, that's oh, okay. I'm, I'm sorry uh, we didn't really catch you. So, Ricky, I was just talking about you, actually. And it looks like you were... Uh, <clears throat> now, if anybody doesn't know Ricky out there... Um, Rick, how do you pronounce your last name? Uh, Rackman? Okay, you can't say. Look, if anybody doesn't know Ricky out there, hey, how do you pronounce your last name? Uh-huh. That's a contradiction. There you it go. Is. Rich Rackman. Yeah, Rack- you got it right. You're awesome. Right. Hey, I finally got a name right. That was good. <laughs> M- well, Ricky's from the MTV's head it been worse to say, It's like It would have been worse if you said, come on, everybody knows Ricky Rashman. <laughs> 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 Well, Ricky is from the MTV's Headbanging Ball. Heads banging, head banging you can't ball. Say that. I can't say that right. I can say his last name. You're blowing it, buddy. You're blowing it. <laughs> and he was uh, on yeah. Love Lines with Brett Michaels as well. And right now, he's ridden over 12,000. No, seven... no, no. Back up, back up. Okay. Hold okay. on. Okay. I was on Love Line with Dr. Drew. Oh, Dr. Drew? I did do the Rock of Love shows with Brett Michaels. That's so. what it is. Okay. I mean, you know what? I'm glad you're on the phone because I would have messed that up. <laughs> Thank you. But, uh, what about you did mess up? <laughs> <laughs> I love the honesty. Yes, we do. Yep. But uh, it's awesome what you're doing because you're ridden over 12,750 miles. Right? You're trying to raise $22,000, yes. right? 22 yes, steps. And, yes. and what, what is it that you're, you're, you're trying to do? You want to stop the, uh, the uh, soldier suicide, right? Well, this is what it is. Um, every year I go on a big, on a big motorcycle ride. And every year I've been, I mean, I've been doing it by myself for the past five years. Last year I did uh, all 48 states okay. by myself on a motorcycle and uh, raised $20,000 for families with cystic fibrosis. 
this year I decided I was going to try to raise, I wanted to find a, I went on a ride one time and there was a motorcycle club that was called the second brigade. And there were all these biker guys and they were all made up of vets. And they were all telling me these stories right. about how they would come back from overseas and all these vets were killing themselves oh. and how they lost all their brothers that would kill themselves. And they, are you there? Yes, yes we're, we're, we're listening. listening. <laughs> oh, we're good listeners. Right. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's all right. So, um, that all these vets were killing themselves, you know, once they got home. So I was like, I wonder if there's, so I found an organization called Stop Soldier Suicide that provides counseling and sometimes job placement. And I said, okay, I'm going to try to ride, tell, ride wherever I go all over America, let people in social media designate my ride. Okay. I'm going to have uh, Leah Vendetta, who was on the TV show Ink Masters. She yes. went with me. Okay. And we have been riding. We've raised over 18 grand, and we have ridden almost 13,000 miles so far. Wow. That's and fantastic. We've been having the time of our lives. And it's finally almost done. And today was one of the worst days because it was just freezing cold rain oh. for about 250 miles. That, that's horrible, man. So you must... You must have experienced so much different weather and just so much you know, different stuff being on the road. But, you know, it's, it's fantastic. No and, and, and just so you know, I do this by myself. I don't have a chase vehicle. I don't have anybody setting anything up. Right. My motorcycle has never been on a trailer. Okay. If right. it's on a trailer, it's probably because I'm in an ambulance. Uh, right. Okay. And, All right. Well, that would make sense. That's like it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, thank, thank you, Leah, for knocking on wood right there. Um, <laughs> but... It, it, it's so we hit, you know, we thought when we were out riding in Texas and it was 105 for four days, we thought that was bad. Right. But today was, today was pouring rain in the thirties and it was, it was pretty bad. But oh. as you guys know, even when it's bad and you're riding a motorcycle, you're still riding a motorcycle. Right. Yeah, well, yeah, of you're course. So, you're That's so happy. Wait, where are you now? Right now I'm in Savannah, Georgia. We got Savannah, Georgia. Not that long ago, and tomorrow will be in Daytona Beach, Excellent. and uh, we're going to ride to Miami, and then go back to to Columbia, and and uh, just a couple other stops, and then we're going to head back to Charlotte, North Carolina, and then we're done. Wow! It'll be wow. About 50, we probably did. We it would have been about fifteen thousand miles. Oof. And uh, you, you um, should use and, the roadcaptain.com app while you're while you're doing your rides out there. So oh, nav really? navigation app, navigation app for motorcycles only. Just a selfish plug. So. <laughs> it sounds. It sounds. No, no, no. It sounds good. Well, it's his app. It's, it's my it's app. I, app. I built it. So check it out. Roadcaptain.com. Roadcaptain.com. Navigation for Road motorcycles Captain. only. Yes, yes, sir. One word. Dot That's com. great because sometimes I mean I try to stay off highways. As That's much what it as does. Can, and and we've taken some incredible. I mean you know I mean I I think I've been in some of the best roads in America. You must have been. Some of them, we're just like I got lost, yep. you know? yeah. and I and, and I I'm always open, you know. If, if it takes two hours by highway and four hours by a really scenic route, I'll take the four hours. So Absolutely, I'll oh, yeah. check out the app because I really like taking scenic routes. Oh yeah, I mean I, that's something we really try to do. Oh, of course, that's what you got to do, man. You must have seen so much cool stuff, man. You know? But um, so so I, I, it's been the best. That must have been the best. So now, if somebody wants to donate to you, I have the the flyer up. Is that where they donate? All right they there? have to do is go to go to rickysride.com. R i k i s r i d e dot com. I, not one penny goes to gas or hotels or food or public or any of that stuff because there isn't it. It all goes straight to stop soldier suicide. And also, there's all the links to my social media and Leah's, and people can go there and tell us where to go or meet us. Like you know, we're going to be at the Hard Rock Hotel. Awesome. Uh, Tomorrow in Daytona, and then we're going to be at an Indian dealership in Lowell, and then we're going to be doing, you know, a couple things at different Indian dealerships. And, you know, we like, like, if people say, oh, we're going to be at this restaurant, we'll go and find you if it's right. on the route. Oh, we that's like awesome. meeting people. I mean, that's the best part because, you know, and there's no entourage. It's just, it's just Leah and me. And, I mean, we pulled over. Where were you we? in the middle of Virginia? Was that Norfolk? Right, there, Norfolk. There were people that were... There were people. There were people at, that were just sitting at a gas station right. waiting for us, and then they took us to an Italian restaurant. Oh, that, oh that's I so had cool! Nothing in common with these people, right. but it was just Leah and me, and these two, and these two couple, and we had the best time, and and just you know, just talking to people about whatever, and just you know, we both in common, we both like to ride, and we'll talk about places of riding because I mean, I love riding motorcycles more than sure. anything. Yeah, you know? sure. And. Uh, 
And it's not about going to the bar with your, you know, 40-inch front wheel. Right. It's just going out there and just seeing stuff, you know? I just have fun. Is that what you ride? You ride an Indian? Yes. Um, I've ridden Indians for the past two years. It's the same Indian. I'm riding a 2017 Chieftain. Nice. And uh, it, it's a, I love this bike. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've had nothing but Harleys my whole life. And right. I've had, I've like I've had like everything. I've had a Triumph and a Ducati and Honda CB750, of course. Right, right, but, right. Um, but I love the Indian. That that's a nice bike. When we went to Daytona last time. Yeah. I was in the Indian deal checking out all those Indians in there. They really are nice bikes, man. Beautiful. But hey, listen, me too. They stepped you. up their game. They 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 stepped up their game in the past like three or four years, and I I just think it's a great bike. It's fast and it's comfortable, and uh, you know I I love it. Yeah, I see more and more of them out there these days. Yeah, actually. you actually do. That really yeah. making the comeback. Hey, uh, Ricky, I don't know where you're going to be next weekend or this weekend coming up, but we're going to be doing a live show from Somerville, South Carolina, if you're in the area. Right. I don't know where How you're going to be. Is that okay? Not this weekend, but the Saturday after Thanksgiving. Right. We're going to be meeting people at uh, in Columbia, South Carolina. Is that anywhere by where you're going to be? Yes. Uh, yeah, uh, not not far, not too far at all from there. But that, but, that same yeah, weekend. but we're going to be yeah. uh, this weekend coming up. We're going to be in we're going to be in Somerville, South Carolina, and then we're going to be in um, Garner, Garner, North Carolina, on Sunday. Then we're heading back to Where's New York. Garner, Garner's in North Carolina. Where? Um, I would say. Um, what off ninety five uh, around By, exit. Winston Salem? No, no, it ain't near Winston Salem. Okay, okay. N- n- Smithfield. 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 Over there. I, that, live, in that, North, I live in North. Car- I live in North Carolina now. Oh, do you really? I left Hollywood and I live in North Carolina now. I love it. I mean, I lived in Hollywood my whole life, and I love North Carolina. Ah oh, man, I want to get out of New York I'm myself. By the, I'm by the. I'm by the Blue Ridge Parkway. Oh you know, man, talk about right. Be on Blue. Which is that's my favorite ride. Yeah, I've done Tail the Dragon, and I can do that. Be there in you know less than a day. But that's oh. kind of a little, it's whatever. Right, you know? that's awesome. It's like waiting in line all right, all day to go to Disneyland. But right. the Blue Ridge <laughs> Park is the great. It's my favorite road in America. That's a great um, road, man. That and, is uh, definitely and, a great road. And it goes forever. It's three hundred. You know, it's like, it's like three hundred miles. Yeah, you know? yeah. With yeah. no stop sign. No, that, that, so, that's awesome. Man. You can't beat that. Ricky. And we and we had fun. We rode it. We were in New York. We uh. You know, we did Long Island. We I was the Grand Marshal of D. Snyder's ride. Okay, so we had a blast. What this Long year? Island and yeah, I was there. Yeah, yeah. wow. Yeah. So was I. <laughs> <laughs> you, you come to my booth to buy a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, hey, it's an honor to have you on our show, and it's great what you're doing there, Ricky. And uh, so, what's Thanks, next buddy. for you after this? After you're done, what are you doing after this? Uh, after this ride, yeah, I don't know. Well, I've, I mean, I've, I've got a radio, I've got a nationally syndicated radio show where I talk about NASCAR and play music. Oh, that's awesome. And I'm going to be launching a I'm going to be launching a podcast okay. on Christmas Eve that will probably get me into a lot of trouble. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm, all the stories that be like, why don't you write about this? Why don't you write about that? I'm just going to say it all. <laughs> uh, a little bit about everything, and it's going to be fun. And if you follow my my Twitter or Instagram or Facebook, that'll tell you all about that. Oh and, uh, man, that's coming that's coming up sometime. And it'll talk about riding. It'll talk about rock and roll. It'll t- and it'll have guests. And it'll be and you like it or you don't like it. It's just nice. kinda, yeah, it's like what you guys do. You, know? yeah. you guys know what you like. Yes. And you and you throw it up against the wall. And if people like it, that's awesome. Exactly. Oh well. Now don't forget about us little yeah. ones over here at Motorcycle Mayhem Radio because maybe we'll be a guest on his show. Maybe that'd, that'd be, be great. awesome. You never know. Oh. You never know. <laughs> and then hey. when you call up and, and I'll say, I'll say, surely you know the guys on motorcycle. <laughs> if the fuck up our names. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I got exactly. you. Hey, did, how many tattoos did you get while you've been on the road? Because you have the one of the best tattoo artists out there in the world. What, you yeah. had to get some ink done yeah. by you. I've got one from her. Well, actually, I got one that was like the smallest thing because that was just the way I wanted to meet her. So I met her by getting a little tattoo, right. but then I got her to tattoo on my hand. But here's the thing. It's like, I mean, cause Leah, I, I li- Leah lives with me wow. okay. and when you have, when, when your girlfriend is the greatest tattoo artist at your disposable, wow. it's not the same. It's like, wait a minute. I got to think about this. It's right. Like I could get <laughs> like, like, I can't just go say like, Hey, will you put this, you know, this lone wolf on my shoulder. Right. It's like, right. 
hey, I can think about a buck back piece that might take a year. And right. I don't have a lot of space. So that's why she did this really cool wolf on my hand that we ended up putting on the Ricky's Ride shirts, which oh, cool. they sell on the website and give all that money to Stop Soldier Suicide, too. So Excellent. It's pretty cool. Excellent, man. Well, I hope that we get to run into yeah, you okay. one day and meet you in person. It would be great. Absolutely. Yeah. I agree, buddy. It would be so much fun. And, and I'll look to see where you're going to be when you come to North Carolina. Yes. Uh, I will definitely keep in touch. I'll send you a friend request or something on Facebook if I can. But, um, you know, it's, it's awesome what you're doing. And uh, we wish you luck in your ride Thanks, and buddy. safe. Yeah. You know, be safe out there. Yeah. You know, with all the weather and, uh, you know, being, riding a motorcycle in this country, you never know what is ahead of you. Potholes, weather, right. whatever. Oh, you know? boy. Nobody knows that better than I do. The reason, <laughs> if people always ask me, they're like, well, is riding motorcycle dangerous? And it is. But here's the only thing that I tell people is I ride every single mile like I am invisible. Right. And I pretend like every car wants to run me over. I'm <laughs> right. always on the defensive. You have you know, to be that way. Be, especially when you, grew up, when you grew up riding in L.A. <laughs> yeah. You had, oh, yeah. You know, lane splitting's legal. And, you know, I was this 20-year-old kid on a, on a pan shovel going through lanes and always on the defense. Yeah, you, you, you have to be. You okay. definitely have to be the road runner. You can't be the coyote. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no. Well, nice talking to you guys. I hope to hey, hey, But listen, but everyone don't know okay. out there, you guys are doing real great trade. Every every 20 seconds, a uh, soldier comes back, and uh, the suicides are up with uh, our veterans. And that's what he's doing yeah. this for, man. And God bless you, man. Yeah, uh, thank Avengers you, buddy. Day, thanks for calling in. Thank you, you. You're doing a great deal, brother. Yeah, man. Thank you. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. Keep Take in touch. Now. Good luck with your radio show, too, brother. Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 That was awesome, man. Yeah, good, good guy, guy man. Good Too guy. bad you fucked his name up in the beginning. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did. I, I, uh, no, I didn't fuck his name up. I fucked no. up what he what right. he did. Right. Because you know, love lines and right. That's what. Yeah. How could you screw up Headbanger? No, Headbanger's ball. <laughs> the Headbanger's ball. I used to love that, dude. Man. It was a great show. MTV, that was good shit, right? Man. That was uh, good stuff. He did that out east, didn't he? The, the Headbanger's ball. ball. Was, was it? That that I don't remember where he did it from. Was it Manhattan? I don't. I don't remember where the studios were anymore. I don't know. I, don't, I have no clue either. But it was. It was but you know what, cool though, that, folks, but. we'll be right back after these words. Nice. back and on the line we have a very special guest on the line we have the one the only mr john fro oh the fro meister fro meister (laughs) fro meister did he hang up john yes wow how come i don't hear him oh wait i didn't want to speak i hear you what's up brother Okay, I hear you. Oh, I was just listening to Ricky there talking about his ride. Sounds like he puts on a lot of miles for a good cause. You know? Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah oh, man. Yeah. That's awesome, man. That really is awesome shit he's doing there. And, you know. Yeah, it, it is. It's like more people like him can do stuff like that. A lot of this world can change. You know Absolutely. what I mean? Absolutely. But uh, so what are you yeah, doing, my I friend? I agree with you. Well, you know, I rode my bike from here, met up with you guys in Kentucky, went to Florida and back. Right. And my front end on my bike, I, well, the front fork was leaking a little bit, and I noticed it down in Kentucky. But no, when I, got home, I remember you telling running, that. Right? right. Well, I went and took the front end off my bike, took down the pro action suspensions. Now I have the rear suspension of my bike was a pro action when we used my bike in Sturges on the Grease and Gears TV show. Well, it's like the rear three plugs you got in the road. See that? Okay, it's okay. 
Yeah, okay. Well, you know, I got to keep up with Roadmaster there, you know. Uh, you got that right. <laughs> There's a road captain, I'm yeah. sorry. That's all right. You know, anyway, you know Larry. I, 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 got the, I got the front end on the bike, and I'm telling you, it's just night and day on that bike now. I mean, oh, it must be. Pro Action did a hell of a job on that front end. So. Oh, that's awesome, man. You know, I, I, I it's definitely yeah. look into that because my fat ass, I probably need a new suspension on my bike, man. You think? You think? Jesus. It's a good thing we have a fat ass. Yeah, yeah you know, you might be a little wore out, you know? Yeah, yeah, I'm telling you, you know? What, the bike or Johnny? Right out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, yeah, so that's, that's cool, you know? And it always seems that whenever we go somewhere at an event and we meet up with John Fru, he always breaks down on the way back. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. Well, is it us? Oh, I, the worst breakdown I ever had. I mean, I, believe me, I've ridden all around this country numerous, numerous times, and the worst breakdown I ever had was when I left you guys from the Big Mountain Run last year. Oh my god! And I was going through the four pit tunnels, and I had my little trailer behind my soft tail, and I blew the belt right as you come to the end of the tunnel, yeah. and you see the city of Pittsburgh. Oh, that sucks. And it took. Four hours for a tow truck. Oh. And of course, it was a sunny, beautiful Saturday. Nobody was answering their phones. They're yeah. all right. They're right. That's why. You know, so, and it geez. cost me 350 bucks to get towed home. Oh, you know? that sucks, man. You got so then I went and bought that Ultra Classic and haven't had a problem since. So. There you go. All right. Awesome. So this is John so Fruz, who every show we do, he sends me pictures of fucking food. Right. <laughs> every show. No. Yeah. Well, yeah, I got it. Keep you smiling, you know. Thank you. But, uh, <laughs> That's the only thing that does it. Th- thanks for calling the show, my friend. And sure, no problem. We'll be uh, talking to you real soon, and you keep sending those pictures, all right? Yeah. So, well, I just so what happens. I might be heading to Florida this week. All right. So I might stop in North Carolina. Well, nice. stop in North, North Carolina. Carolina. Yeah. South we'll, Carolina. We'll, we'll be in we'll both. We'll be at both. So. Yeah, you'll be in some. Summerville. Right. Exactly, you know. That'd be awesome if you stopped by. Yeah. Yeah, I, and if you're looking I for us. I am going down through that way. All right. I'm sure I can find you. Oh, I'm going to look for the big guy at the uh, barbecue you'll, joint. You'll find me looking at all the cows. I'll be the one feeding the cow teriyaki. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> okay. John Fro, man, we'll talk to you soon, brother. You guys. Later, right. brother. Right. Stay warm. You too. Yeah, tell your mom I said hi. I will. Good night. Bye, Mom. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, my God. Did he just say, tell your mom I said hi? Yes, he did. I don't trust that guy around any woman. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, let me see. People. Let's do a shout-out to Texas All right, man. Nice. What's up, guys, yeah. in Texas All right. We love those boys out there. Uh, Curtis Hardy, Chrissy man. Hardy, and all those guys. We had a blast with those guys in, in, in uh, Kentucky. I'm pumped. I'm pumped for May, man. I, you know, May's going to be a really good yes. month for us. And, of course, the Bike of Trash Nation, guys. BTN. What's up, man? BTN. BTN. And they're having, actually, they're having their, um, where is it? Nope, not that. No. Nope. But that's also awesome, the Jasmine game. December 1st? Um, they're having their uh, Saturday, December 1st, at Toys for Tots at Bag of Saloon, I believe. So right. check that out, man. And uh, we're donating some bicycles. I figured that Jane's, I think Jane's going to the party, so yeah. she will bring the bicycles for us Good. down there. Yeah. Jane and Steve, I believe. So thank you, guys. And, uh, yeah, definitely check that out. And know? listen, and go up and get Wayne Bennett and start giving him the money because I think his old lady is kicking his ass. Oh, so, what, what? oh yeah. I think it's his wife and the other girl. I forgot her name. But she's, a, she's a pip. Oh, yeah. They're having the, oh, uh, they try to poison the guy and voodoo <laughs> shit on him. The like, po- oh, they're, they're, they're killing the poor bastard. <laughs> it's a charity, man. They're cutthroat these women down there. Yeah, I tell you, man. Oh. Uh, also, I wanted to give a shout out to Bob Johnson, man. Hope yeah. you're doing good, Bob. Bob's Thank good. Thank you for everything you've been doing for the show. And check out uh, Optic Armor. Even though the bike season might be over in some spots, but not every place, you can go on his website. I believe it's OpticArmor.com. Yep. Check out his stuff, man. He's got some really awesome eyewear for riding. So check that out. And, of course, we want to give a shout-out to our friend over here, Ken Dodge, man. This guy's on the hook. Ken is, is awesome, man. <laughs> he actually... I can't wait to drink with this guy. Oh, I can't guys. wait to party with this guy, man. <laughs> you know he's a crazy bastard yeah, oh, like us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he actually um, uh, FaceTimed me about the property he has out there in Tennessee. That would freak me out. And, and it was awesome. Do you pick up those FaceTimers? Yeah. Well, I knew it was Ken. 
You know what I mean? No, I don't answer. It, it was Ken. I knew it was Ken. I don't care. Scared. I'm going to FaceTime you tomorrow with my I'm ass. Gonna, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ass-time ass you tomorrow. I'm going to ass-time you tomorrow. I'm going to ass-time you. He says he's a happy face, too. <laughs> oh, my God. And a uh, little shout-out to our good friend, Lee Verrott. Verrott. What's up, Lee? Another great guy, man. And uh, you know what? Lee is actually doing a movie. And um, you got to check out this movie as well. So check this out. Nice. Where is it? There it is. We'll be back. Well, according to the TVA, at the time that they taken it over, it was according to about 177,000 acres. Well, 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 if it isn't Grizzly Adams. <laughs> You mean to tell me that you came all this way to help your brother tag team the beast? <laughs> Y'all can kiss my ass. With local history comes local folklore. With local folklore come stories that are not always of a positive nature. In this particular case, it's the nature of the beast. The Beast of LBL. I'm, at, I'm super scared. Like, I'm on this back road and I do not know where to go. Yes, that's fine, but I don't know where I'm at. I'm out of gas. Please, I'm freaking out. Please, someone come meet me or something. I'm super scared. I have no, I've never been out here before. Please, I'm almost, I'm like almost on E. I'm about to run out of gas. I'm going as fast as I can. <laughs> Gentlemen, we realize we have a serious situation here. I'm also here to tell you to avoid the LBL area at all costs. Furthermore, if furthermore, this is where we go to have recreation with our families and the tourists. That's right. What about our kids? What are they supposed to do? You don't understand. You don't understand. You don't have the manpower to cover the entire area of LBL. Let's go. son of a bitch is real. You're gonna need some help. That was the beast of LBL. Can't wait. And this is the beast of LBL. Yeah. There he is. We found him. We found, we found the beast. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, people are always asking me about how come the one want to be on camera right. how come well i'm gonna show you something right. i i don't share this picture with anybody right. well, but you share it back in the day that there's the one right there back in the day huh look at that playboy yeah, yeah close. i wish yeah, right. she, i wish we made the money for that <laughs> <laughs> but that's Dawn back in the day with a hottie, huh? Look Woo at that. that would have been she still is hot, by the way. I might save that for the spank bank. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going into the jack shack? What <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> outside to the bush? Where'd yeah. I go? <laughs> oh, excuse me, I gotta go take a leak outside. <laughs> <laughs> the there name is Lord. There goes that lilac bush. Oh my goodness <laughs> gracious. Oh man, I just want to give another shout out to Blowout, man. Oh, wow. buddy, Blowout. Love Blowout. Check out Blowout Biker Productions, www.blowoutbikerproductions.com. 
Bobcat.com. Check him out for your events, man. He's a great MC. Uh, Love that, man. Just and look it, just look for the guy with the big hat. And <laughs> look for the guy with the big hat. Of course, we want to give a shout out to Larry Joe. We love that guy. Larry, you the man. You should definitely go for president one day. Yep. Um Blackbird. Blackbird. Blackbird uh flightwear.com. Get all your shirts made up. Like we got some motorcycle mayhem shirts made up from Blackbird. Uh so go to blackbirdflightwear.com and order your shirt today. Of course, the Road Captain Nap. Mm, nice. Hello, Mr. Road Captain Nap. How you doing, brother? Yeah. And how you doing? How you how doing? You doing? Cycle Source Magazine. Mike, give it once a uh, look at a watch. Have you watch. Ever, have you ever uh, checked out a Cycle Source Magazine? Absolutely. Magazine? One of the best motorcycle magazines out there. I think there's fantastic out there. Of course, we got Strip Club Choppers. Yep. Strip Club Choppers. Johnny Lang, Strip Club Choppers. And we got Strip Club Choppers, New York. Yes. As well. Check it out. We'll be in Warrensburg this year. Warrensburg, Warrensburg New York. Bike Rally. Right? Yes. I keep fucking Bike up. Rally. <laughs> uh, I want to talk a little bit about the Purple Pirate, man. You know, Purple Pirate goes to all these events, and that's the Mayhem Dog, right? Mm. The Purple Pirate goes to these events, and uh, he does some great work, man. Get a tattoo. Yep. Look at the, look at the, the, the just the artwork on these things, right? Good detail. Yeah, awesome detail. I'll show you my favorite one, man. That's really cool, but this is my favorite one. It's a, it's a, like a pirate ship. Look at the face in the front. Nice. Well, that's awesome shit, man, you know? I'm getting a new one on Wednesday. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Big uh, one. Big nice. piece. Want to say hello to our friend Dustin Benefield. Dustin Lee. Dustin, Dustin Lee Benefield. The guy is an awesome shit, man. We had a great time with him. We haven't heard from him in a while. Yeah, we, we, yeah we'll hear from him. I wonder, I wonder if he's all right. And of Reach course, out. Scully Saloon. Nice. Tree, tree, tree. Hickory. Tree, 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 tree. Swinging Bridge Road in Old Hickory, Tennessee. By the right? train track. By the train track over there. Check that out. And uh, just so you know, we also got shirts for sale, too. Motorcycle Mayhem radio shirts. And they're 20 bucks a piece. We have girls. How do you say it? They're uh, racer. Racerbacks. Racerback. Razorbacks. Racer. Racer? Razor. Razor. Racer with a Z? I think it's with a Z. With a Z. It's not a racerback. Racer. I'm aware, so I don't know. All right, we got girl shirts. I don't either. <laughs> we got girl shirts available here in all different sizes. All right. We got men's cutoff shirts, cutoff sleeveless shirts, and with sleeves. So check it out, man. Uh, contact me on Facebook. If you'd like one. And don't right. we ship it out to you. And don't we ship it out. <laughs> uh, check out Iron Mayhem, man. It's an up-and-coming group, man. Go to Iron Mayhem. Join it, man. This group is going to be awesome. So check it out. It's actually Iron Mayhem stands for Texas Iron and Motorcycle Mayhem. Together. Okay? As one. As one. Together. <laughs> I can't sing. No, you can't. All right. Oh, we got a call. Oh, we got a call, man. Maybe Hello, you are on the air. Motorcycle Mayhem Radio. I want one of those Razorback shirts. Do you really? I do. Oh, nice. uh, yeah? Who do we got here? Who are you? What do you mean? That's, That's you don't know who the Geneva is? You can't tell oh, by yeah. your voice? Oh, yeah. I'm looking. Listen. Duh. Oh, of God. course we'll get you one. It's Geneva. Jesus. I know. My, 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 my mind you. is shot. I'm sorry, Geneva. We're still looking at that picture of Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he's doing, man. I I know. I know that's what he's doing. Yeah. Uh, I want to send a shout out to my veterans. Oh my God, what a beautiful weekend! Yes. And uh, there's uh, Don Chilian, who is a Vietnam veteran, who is also one of our sponsors with the Outpost for Bikers in Freeport, Florida. Okay. Unfortunately, they weren't able to have the event no. um, a couple weeks ago because of the hurricanes. And also, uh, still saying prayers for all those guys. And yes. Families and Panama stuff City, like that. Yep. Man, it's just it's very sad. But uh, big old salute to our vet. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I, I want to go to Somerville. <laughs> well, come on, man. Come on down. That's okay. This is the deal. Okay. We're going to be in some of Somerville, South Carolina, this Saturday coming up. Now Geneva wants to be there. We got to get her a ride there. Right. Now I know that all fans out there can help Geneva get to Somerville. Right. Okay. Well, I'm trying to get Lee to give me a ride. Okay, check this out. Oh, you, know, you, haven't talked to, you, haven't, you haven't talked to Dustin in a while, okay? Right. Well, I think he's booked here in Nashville this coming weekend. Okay. And um, On book. I mean, I want to I want to come to Somerville because I miss my Dwayne. Yeah, but, sure. I mean, what does that say about my guy, man? Dustin's going to be at my house. Right. Right here, and I want to I want and I want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> and, that, and that and that says a lot for you guys too, man. Just, thank you. Know, you. 
yeah, Dustin's pretty pretty damn cool. Yeah, Dustin's but, um, cool. But if he's not if he's not playing here, I haven't heard yet. But if he's not, then try to talk. Tell get him his, to bring in his sweet, sweet little self there. there you get go. his ass down there. You know what I mean? Get his ass down there. Like, what did Dawn give him that smile for? Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I haven't seen I haven't seen a smile that big in a long time. Oh my god. Wipe, wipe the shot of well, your mouth. Hey, hey Ro Captain, look in the mirror. You got that too, man. I know that. I know all hey. man crush. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, I got a man crush on Dustin. Yes, he does. Yeah, Dustin he really Lee. does. You are drooling. I am a little bit. Yeah, hey, you know what? He reminds me of myself when I was his age. <laughs> <laughs> what? You had the same shoe size or something? <laughs> Let me tell you something. Oh. Sorry, Mike. <laughs> you know, I, 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 I am. Uh, hey, I used to have a mullet. Oh my god! Oh. You know what? I'm secure with my sexuality, and I can say that that right. is one good-looking motherfucker Watch, right there. Okay, good son of a bitch. Right <laughs> Come on. I'm now, not, Mike has a crush on I'm this not, guy. I'm, I'm, it's not a crush. He's, a, he's a, my friend. He's my buddy. Yeah, we're buddies, you know? You know? You know and, and, <laughs> but I want to push him out of the shopping cart, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we bonded. Hey, I was in the, shop, I was in the shopping cart with him. <laughs> yes, you were. I straddled you him in the shopping cart. I could have, but I you refrained. Were on top of uh, I was. <laughs> I was. <laughs> That That's what I'm saying. I'm not ashamed of the I, game. I know. Right? That video will be up next week. Yeah. I, I, I keep forgetting. That video will be up. That's, that's, yeah. one of the, that's one of the best videos out there. Yeah. I got to get that video in, in uh, on the show. That's, we could have a million likes with that video. Were you trying to kick a field goal through the... Uh, oh, that was awesome. Coffee? Yeah. That was great. <laughs> and we surprised Geneva with a cake. Yeah, with a cake. That was one hell of a good and, night. And flowers. And flowers. And flowers. And flowers. I couldn't buy liquor Thank because... Uh, yes, well, we love you. You know, we, we, of course we want to be well, there for no, your birthday. I think it was a Sunday night, right? Yes. It, yes. And uh, Publix did not sell... <laughs> what, I don't wine or champagne. Wine or champagne. <laughs> you can buy beer, we but you can't plenty, buy wine or champagne. We had plenty here, though. Yes, we, we had good. plenty of beer. Oh, yeah. That, you know, that, that was fun. I'm sitting out on the, on the back porch and... Rizzo, the drummer. You guys don't know that. Oh, that's, Rizzo yes. Actually played drums. We had a blast on those bongos. I had a good time with those bongos. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, and the drums were cool too. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my ass, my ass still hurts. <laughs> 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 yeah, my ass still hurts. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get around, Mike. Uh, hey, listen, listen, man. It is what it is. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, uh, how about Bernie Mac? Uh, Bernie Mac is coming to Philadelphia on the twenty sixth. Italian on the line here. Yes, Ed Spacuza. Nice. Spacuza, yeah. Spacuza, so, Spacuza. Uh, yes. Spacuza. Thanks for showing that, that video clip uh, um, of the Iron Angel song at the beginning of the show tonight. Wait, so? Yes. Uh, Ed filmed all of that. And Excellent. That's, like just a, that's a collection of, of what he does. He's out there in the bike world, and he's, a, you know, obviously he's a master at his filming and production and stuff like that, and I'm so fortunate to have him in my camp. Um, you know, he's the guy, you know, he did the whole Vet City video. Yeah, well, I'll be playing that soon. And helped storyboard it and film it. And he just put his beautiful creations in on it. Right. Um, but, you know, but, but, but guys, you need to get Ed in there. Did you see all those beautiful ladies oh my in that God, yes. film clip at the beginning? <laughs> I mean, these girls, are, they follow him around, man. Yep. I'm not joking. Yeah. Well, Sorry, uh, Ed. Ed I'm sure Ed is like blushing like crazy right this second. <laughs> it's okay. Well, I'm going to be showing more beautiful ladies once I hang up with you. With the Vet City video nice. It's coming on right after this. So Awesome. So, Ed, if you're listening, wait till I'm done with the Vet City video because then you can call in and talk about how you made it. Okay? There you go. So, cool. that'd be great. Okay. Hey, how's, how's Dwayne doing? Everything good with him? He's doing great. All right. I saw him yesterday. Tell me, tell me yeah, about him. He's doing him. really good. Hopefully, he'll be there at uh, Nightmare's... Uh, Shindig. Perfect. Uh, bringing you guys in. And, Excellent. And uh, maybe I might possibly be there, hopefully. I don't hope. know. We Somebody hope. coming from Tennessee. I don't want to drive myself for that long, guys. I'm yeah. kind of worried about the weather and stuff, you know. And, and I love my car. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? You want to so put that's, those, that's you want put those miles on it. This car to, yeah. We have to well, get Geneva there. A, yeah. I'm we got the listeners. We got the listeners that can do this. We have to get Geneva right. from Tennessee to South Carolina. So, guys, help us out. Yep. Yeah. Let's do it. All right? So Geneva- Not just randomly anybody, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to put that one out there. 
Yep. <laughs> hey, Geneva, come on. I'm in. <laughs> I got you, Geneva. Get in the car. We're going to break over here. Come on. We'll take it. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I love you all. Thank you. We love right. you, too. We'll yeah. talk to you real soon, okay? Oh. Yeah, hopefully I'll see you next weekend. And I also so. don't forget to say, send a shout-out for uh, Jay Bonarani. All right, brother? You, you All right. Have, no, no doubt. You got that. Peace. All right, man. Bye. Thanks, you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. Yeah. Check awesome. this out. She's
do I love that song? That song kicks ass, man. That CD. Day. That no. I will always love that song. And the girl that drops the hat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll, 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 the girl singer. that drops the hat in that yeah. video. Oh, but, Jesus. But the singer blows her away. You know? right. Yes. Well, of course. Geneva. You know. Come on now. Uh, but anyway, um, what else going on, guys? Oh, listen. We got uh, things coming up here, Yeah, too. what do we got, Mike? We got the... Ladies and gentlemen, it's the book. Yeah, you doing one. We got the seventy annual uh, toy for Tots uh, run going out of Deer Park, Long Island on Saturday, November 17th. Okay. Um, it's going to be hosted by Miller's Airhouse and okay. um, Tears Rats. It's an LEMC club. Okay. Uh, get there by uh, 8 o'clock. Uh, the think kickstands are up at 10, 30, 11, I think. Okay. Um, but everything's for Toys and Tots, so get down there and have a good time. Excellent. Thank you, Mr. Brookhausen. You're welcome. Hello, you're on the air. Motorcycle Mayhem Radio. Who do we got? Hello, hello. Hello, this is Ed. How you doing? Hey, What's Ed. up, Ed? How are you, man? I've been playing your videos all night long here. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, first off, I tell you what, man. I gave you a shout-out. After I got you talking to me this afternoon, I took a peek at last week's edition when I was up a tree. Right. Thank you guys so much for wishing me a happy birthday. Oh, you're, you're welcome. Literally had me smiling for the rest of the afternoon fighting off this cold. That was freaking awesome sauce, man. Well, I'm, I'm glad you uh, enjoyed it, and we hope you had a very happy birthday. So I was in the best place in my life. I was on the hunt in camel in a pine tree, and snow was on the ground oh. waiting for the deer not to show up. Nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. I went hunting. The only thing I ever caught was a cold. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I don't. I don't. Sweat. I'm not a fair weather rider. I don't care if there's a cold. My bike never gets laid up. I ride 12 months of Michigan weather. I don't care as long as there's no ice. There nice. you go. Hey, all right. All right. Well, you guys, you guys know how to clean up the streets up there, though. Oh yeah. You know, it snows. You know, 10 inches, and an hour or two later, man, you got that stuff well, off the roads. That's true, Mike, but at the same time, we might not have to clean them up, but we don't know how to repair them. That's the problem. Yeah, that's the problem. Oh, Welcome geez. to New York. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, Ed, tell yes, us a, l- a little about a little bit about your filming there, because you do an excellent job of filming. You did Vet City was awesome. Well, thank I, you. And, and you also did Geneva's Iron Angels, which was awesome as well. Right. So, is I, there... I have done uh, pretty much all their video work since the first time we met each other in 2009. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a passion, guys. I, I love what I do. I love being behind the cameras. I like working with people, whether they're pros or amateurs. And I'm very passionate about uh, the gift that God gave me to be creative. I realized for the first time about two years ago that I'm, I am very good. You and when I got realization, I started getting phone calls from people that have been telling me this for years. And I came out of a year-long shell, and I'm having a freaking blast. That's oh. awesome. That's awesome, man. I'm looking forward to hopefully one day do some work with you as well. So, you know, we'll we'll talk about that in a later date. But you know what? Yeah. I would be an honor to have you do stuff with us, you know? Absolutely. Definitely. It would be an honor for the invite. I like your guys' show, what you guys are promoting. Uh, we met, obviously, through Geneva and Dwayne, uh, yes. two very, very good friends of mine. Yes. And, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, any friend of theirs is a friend of mine willing to break bread with and take on a new adventure. And vice, Absolutely. Uh, uh, vice versa, my friend. Definitely. So. <laughs> So, what's next for you? You know, um, I just um, I've got really pretty much to the end of this month to tag a couple more deer, put them in the freezer. Oh there my you god! Go. Oh, if the phone's not ringing, I'm going to be up a tree. Firearm <laughs> season's come up in a couple of days, and I throw arrows. You know, a little backstrap. He throws a little backstrap waiting waiting for you, right? He throws arrows. Nice. How awesome is that? I'm that- an archer. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if I can have three or four deer in, you know, in, the, in the freezer every year, that's good for me and my mom and my family. I'm happy. There you go. You yeah. know what? It's, it's, it's the same thing as, as shooting someone with a camera, and it is that when you're doing with a bow and arrow. You still need, you still need the, the, uh, the eyes and the, and the hand coordination and, and everything else that goes with it. Do you yeah, find yeah, the similarity? That's actually a very good analogy. I, that, that's very good. Yeah. And you know what? If I don't see anything out in the woods, I'm just as happy being out there and being a part of it. Nice. Same thing with being behind the camera. Love being a part of it. Excellent. Yeah, well, that's great, man. You do great work, too, man. I love, I love your, videos your shots, man. The, the, the Vet City one is amazing. Well, it, it helps when I have people that I'm surrounded by that inspire me. And I was, I've was i been very fortunate on this adventure you know, with Geneva and doing the Vet City uh, you know, uh, video. Oh, my God. Everybody stepped up to the plate. And I, can't, I couldn't have had a better... Uh, crew to work with together as a team. It was well, awesome. Well, that's so, but, great. 
And that was time, and that was one was, shot deal, right? Oh, it was one shot deal on everything from flying the drone camera. That's crazy. Planes driving my uh, my Ford Transit Connect down the runway as I'm hanging out for dear life filming with one hand. <laughs> you know. <laughs> wow. Yeah. No, stop. I'm going to catch up with you. Yeah. I'm going as fast as I can. Oh, yeah. Someone would have filmed enough filming this. It would have been a, a, a viral video right there. Oh, oh, that's yeah. awesome. That's fantastic. That's yeah, a great video. I just, I just, there's I no love having the camera in my hands. And, and one thing people don't even realize, that Dwayne, you even know how I work, in the Iron um, in the Iron Angel video, the shots where you see the bike, that's me filming with one hand and one camera on my shoulder. Oh, and really? Sit down between the spikes. Yeah, there's no GoPro cameras on this one. Yeah. Oh, excellent. That's fantastic, man. You did a great job, and you know what? I'm looking forward to seeing more of your videos. Whatever you want to share with us, we'll play on the air. We love it. Yeah, absolutely. You know? I think I could dig up a couple of some of the early ones that I can apologize for. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the ones that we can make fun of? Yeah. Because the, the ones that we well, see, there's, there's no floor on it. <laughs> I got this wop sense of dry humor. I laugh at myself all the time, yep. and if you guys can't laugh with me, I'll do something to make you laugh. That's it. Beautiful. Exactly. That's the way we are. You got that right. So. Just look at us. Hey, listen, buddy, we're going to let you roll. We got to do a couple okay, more commercials man. before we end the show. And uh, thanks yeah. for everything you do, and uh, we'll talk to you soon, all right? Can't wait. Absolutely. Have fun down in Somerville, and I'm also going to try to get my brother to come down on his badass VMAX. Nice. And he's five minutes away from there, along with Dwayne. Excellent. Oh, man. You guys gotta, you're, you're going down to Somerville? You can't, know. You no. You know, it, it, I'm not going to rule it out of the question, but that's so close to firearm season there, Mike. It's, it's, it's I so hear close. you. I hear you, brother. Okay. Have to get me out of the woods. Oh, boy. Well, I, I figured I'd get some back straps if you're coming down. <laughs> <but>. <laughs> you got it. We'll talk soon, brother. If I make it down there, I'll bring you some snow. Oh, Thanks, boy. Brother. I'll I leave the it. snow. Love it. All right. All right, guys. Take, take care. Take care, bud. Bye-bye Peace. Bye. Hey, I love Ed, man. He's a great guy, man. Hey, I want to give a shout-out to Tommy Puckett, man. Hope you're doing okay, man. I heard you had a little bit of a, an accident there, and uh, you hit your head. And um, we wish you well, brother. And uh, get back up on that iron horse soon, okay? Yeah. And also, what else we got to talk about, Mike? Uh, let's let's do this quick. Right back. Ba, ba, ba. No? Yes? Okay. No? Yes? Yeah. No. Don't be an idiot. Go to the idiot. Everybody has been a village idiot at least one point in their life. I don't think there's any day that I've walked out of here without having at least five laughing sets because the staff that we do pick here too, they're a little outside of the box. They definitely are and that's how we like it. A lot of stuff we make here is from scratch. It's a very affordable menu. We're always running different specials. We do have the best happy hour on the whole entire strip. You'll be happy when you leave and you're going to want to come back and then not only come back but you're going to tell your friends and bring them back with you. My chefs are amazing. They put their heart and soul to everything we do. They have a passion for cooking. Like I have a passion for owning a bar and bartending, and we've all been bartenders at one point or another. These are my managers, and they're my backbone. Two years after initially opening in 2010, we expanded into the dining room, and now we open a new place in Oakdale, the Legitimate Irish Pub. I got together with my partner, John, who started the Village Idiot Pub in Patchogue about five, five and a half years ago. A lot of regulars, a lot of local Oakdale people who were extremely happy to see us put out a good product and renovate the entire place. We wouldn't be here without our loyal customers and without that huge fan base. We wouldn't be here if not for them. So I do appreciate my lovely customers that come here. There's something for everybody here. You have the theater, and you have all the different restaurants and the bars, you have down by the water. It's really amazing to see this revitalization of this town. There's no stopping the village of Patchogue from getting any better than it already is. The Village Idiot Pub in Patchogue. Let me tell you something, man. Mm. Those burgers are amazing. Mm, those and I also got to mention here, man, I'm talking about great bars, man. Napa Tandy's, okay? We got a couple of locations out here in New York. Napa Tandy's in Northport, all right? Uh, 229 Laurel Avenue in Northport, New York. Um, that place is going to be a bike night we're going to have down there. Yeah. We're going to have a bike night down there. Rod's going to be there selling cigars. All that good shit down there in Northport. Plus, their other location in Smithtown, okay? At 15 East Main Street in Smithtown, New York. 
check it out, man. That's going to be a killer. If you want to see a good band, they have a great stage there. Big ass stage. The bar's actually split in two. Yes. At the right and the left. And the left is like for music, so it's really cool down there. Check out NapaTandy'sIrishPub.com. Check that out. And, of course, Crafties. Yep. Crafties Burgers and Brews. We'll be there on Sunday. All right, doing a show or something, whatever we're doing down there. Okay, Crafties Burgers and Brews. They're located <laughs> in the White Oak Shopping Center. Okay, and uh, I, can't, I, I did this. I can't even read it. Um, 1717 right. Timber Drive, East Gardner, North Carolina. I did not say Gardner. Right. But check out craftiesburgersandbrews.com. Great food. And, of course, like I just showed you, the Village Idiot Pub, 8 East Main Street in Patchogue, New York. Check them out at villageidiotpubli.com. Well, so, Crafty, Crafty's supposed to be having some kind of uh, benefit yes, down there. So yes. if you're in the neighborhood, you're in the Garner neighborhood, which I know, you know a lot of people out there in North Carolina. The Comeback Cools are going to be there. Right. So come down and say uh, yeah. hello to us. Yeah, come down and hang out with us, man. We're going to have a good time in Garner, North Carolina. Yeah. So we'll be chilling out. Uh, Drinking beers, right? Well, if if, <laughs> you, know if, if you bring a pen or something, what, what's on your uh, breast or <laughs> ass cheeks or whatever? I, you I want think, us I to think sign? Crafty's not gonna be like that. Oh no, that's a family place, right? Yeah, they're, we're, they're, we're still doing. Yeah, we'll just, still sign them. We'll right, make you know, it low key. We'll just, yeah, we'll set up right. a screen. Yeah, we'll sign them over the bra. Right? Is that better? Right? Is that more classy? They totally know what they're getting. When exactly. So. Uh, so you know what, um, Mike? Yes, sir. People are always asking me what. Strip club job is all about. Uh, it's about the clothes, baby. It's about the. But shag. what is it? Is it what is strip club job is though? It's more than just clothes, right? What? And you tell them, you tell them, hey, you know, the guy, you know, Johnny Lang, he's got a pole on his bike, and the girl strips on it. Right. They're like, get the fuck out of here! <laughs> they don't do that. Oh yeah, he does. Yep. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. Check this out. We'll be right back.
We are back live, guys. Nice. And we do have somebody on the phone. Hey, who do we got on the phone right now? Hello. Ken Dodge. Ken Dodge. What's up, Ken yeah. Dodge? How are you, sir? Me a dick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I love oh, the honesty. Yeah, thank you, thank you. There's Ken right there. there. It's a DNA thing. Yeah, what about that haircut right there, huh? Yeah, uh, beautiful. Yeah. Bald is in. Looks great. You know, Johnny, you know, Johnny, you're not far from there, buddy. You should just let it go. Me? You got the melon for it. You, know, you could really <laughs> let it Yeah, let that shit go. Well, we Don't be on you like a bum on a bologna sandwich. Yeah, let me see. Hey. I'm not losing any hair yet. I'm still looking uh, all right. Not bad for 50. Yeah, well, no gray hairs. No gray hairs. Yeah. So, not bad for 50. Holy crap. Is that all you are is 50? That's all I am is 50. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 Holy shit. You guys had Ed Spacuza on the phone tonight. Yes, yeah, we did. You guys are great? Like getting up there now, right? We are. I tell you, right? Oh. Holy crap, we're not going to be able to talk very long. I mean, you guys are going to surpass all of us, and we're just going to be the little people back here listening. Yeah, yeah. I doubt it. <laughs> Holy crap. We'll be honored to have you on the phone. Absolutely. Well, it's, it's an honor to talk to you guys. You guys are amazing people, and the fact that you've got so many, so many members of my family, like Geneva and Dwayne. Yes. And, uh, and Ed. And I just, uh, these three people are incredible, incredible people, and to, to have them... Uh, say, hey Ken, you gotta, you gotta get on this. You gotta talk to these guys. These guys are gonna love you. When they, when they say that, I know that's from their heart because they, they are genuine people and they absolutely love you. Yeah, and yeah we love you, them. They're awesome. He loves you guys. I, I tell you what, Lee's, really Lee's got to be very happy you left them out of your family. <laughs> <laughs> I, I say, what you say? What? <laughs> Did you say you forgot what to say, say Lee? Say? I wait for them to say something no, on it. No, 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 Lee. I was, are you kidding me? Lee scares the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes out of that camera, yeah. he goes, that son of a yeah. bitch that is son real. That bitch is real. Yeah, we, that's good no, shit, man. No shit. <laughs> yeah, he was talking about my ex-wife. <laughs> no, and he is real. He's right there. Yes. Yeah, he, 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 but, yeah, but that LBL, that's yep. my ex-wife, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, man. Uh, no, no, he's, yeah, he's such a great actor, such a great guy. Absolutely. Uh, I haven't gotten the chance to meet him yet, but I really, really hope I get to. Yeah, I'd we, love to work with him one day because uh, he would obviously be the hero and I'd be the villain because he's got that he's got that face where he could be the good guy or the bad guy. Right. I just got that face to where you're just the bad guy, Ken. I'm sorry, you got nothing else. You, know? <laughs> you got nothing going for you. You're not the love interest. You're not the comedian. You're right. not. You are the bad guy. You're the heel. That's all there you, you go. are. <laughs> you got your pocket and hold on to it. Huh? So I don't get very much work. <laughs> but what I think it's usually pretty cool. Yeah, that's but, excellent, uh, though. I, I had to, I wanted to tell you guys something. First of all, uh, first of all, I love you guys. Love and, you, uh, man. And I appreciate you having this show. And uh, something happened this past week. Uh, I was on my way back from the from the uh, grocery store, and uh, I come up on uh, some uh, some traffic, and I see this lady running in a helmet and uh, and leathers, right, just up ahead of a couple of cars. And I, I pulled my truck to the side of the road, and I jump out, and I'm running. And there's like 12 bikers in the middle of the damn road, and they got a brother down. So I ran over there. I said, you know, I'm an EMT. Can I help? And they just opened up and brought me in there. And uh, the guys, I got to talking to him. And chuckles. He's with the Justify group here in, in Tennessee. Um, okay. Banged his head real good. He locked his uh, front wheel up and apparently lost control. But uh, uh, I asked uh, the community around here to pray for him. And, and, uh, and I went online and asked people to pray for him. Such a great guy. Such a great bunch of uh, people. The Justify group out of Middle Tennessee. Okay. Fantastic people. I just find out that he... He busted his head open a little bit. He uh, busted four ribs, and he ruptured his spleen. Ow. No. But, Ow. Uh, but uh, believe it or not, he's up walking around. They did release him this morning. He's okay. back home, and everything's good. But I just want to tell you that uh, that's that, that's a that's a family thing. So, guys, please be careful out there. Just yes. uh, yep. slight little things in the road, bumps, that's uh, right. uh, leaves, uh, uh, cut grass. Uh, the world on the streets, just everybody be careful. You're my family, and I love you so much. But yeah. this guy, I had no clues who he was, but he was my brother. He's a biker. Exactly. Right. And, exactly. Uh, that's why the bikers are the best yeah. community in the world, right there. Yep. That's so. absolutely right. And that's immediately what I thought of when I when I started administering the best first aid I could. I didn't have my med bag with me or anything. But right. in the past, I was an EMT and a paramedic and a firefighter. But uh, 
but you know, we won't even go into that. But I was also a military police officer and, I, and law enforcement in the military as well. But yeah. it's it's it, you know. We all we're a family. We take care of each other, and I just wanted to tell you guys that uh, that the family that you've got with Geneva and Lee and and Larry and and Dwayne and and Ed and all of us out here, you know, we are your family, and yes. we'll be here no matter what. <clears throat> That's and I exactly really right. Hope to God. I really hope to God I get to meet you guys one day because you're incredible. You will. Oh, yeah. and right in the middle of your right in the road, middle of your program, my phone froze up, so I guess we've got some lag going on from the weather. So I'm I'm like I'm like geez, now I got to call in. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well you're welcome to call in this show anytime you want, there. So we really appreciate I'm talking to you, Ken. As much as I can. You yeah. know, you're my family. I love you guys. I love you Absolutely. too, man. And we're supporting you and and your movies that you do. And, uh, hey, I did send you a demo reel, Johnny. Yeah, I know, but uh, I, I think I got it too late before the show started, so I'm going to play no, it. No, that's fine. That's fine. I, I didn't send it for the show. I sent it for you so you could, like, you know, peel the man. Feel the manner in the back. Oh, yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah he Absolutely. A, he has a picture on his Facebook that that his face comes out of his eyes, that comes out of his eyes, that comes out of his eyes. It's the uh, creepiest fucking thing I ever seen, dude. Yes. Do you think the way yeah, Lee freak the, the way picture. Lee freaks you out, you freak me out. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I, know, I love you guys. Yeah, but well, we love you too, man. With you guys and party with you. Yeah, I can't wait, man. We're gonna do it. We're doing it real soon down in Tennessee at Scully's. Yeah, hopefully January yeah. or something. Like yeah, that, and then right? we're gonna come to your ranch there and, and party uh, with you over there too. So, I, I saw I saw everything that you I saw everything that you sent me over there about that, and it's pretty wild. So I'm definitely checking that out. Yeah, so. we're gonna do something down there, some kind of bike event. All right, brother. Well, that, that'll be cool. Yeah, we don't open up, uh, open this back up till April. But uh, you know, put that on your calendars, right? From April to October is when we're open out here. So. Excellent. But uh, like I said, I keep my my bus out here, and it's, I try to live out here year round. So right. it's, it's such a beautiful place. Excellent, man. Excellent. Can't wait to get out there, and meet you, and hang out, and drink some beers, and have a good time, brother. Yep. So I uh, love you guys. Love Talk you too. You, soon. you have a great night, man. Suck my dick. <laughs> 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 that's, that's awesome. That's fantastic. Uh, uh, so anyway, um, when I was playing the uh, strip <coughs> club chopper video, yeah, we were talking about a steak that my mo- my my mother, Your mother. My Your wife. Holy, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fucking shit! Oh my god! Look at I was saying face. my lover, my yeah, lover, not my yeah. mother. Wait, uh, hold on. Uh, yeah, ma- mother, lover. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. That's fucked up, right? Just, oh, wow. <laughs> so I was, All right, folks. Good night. <laughs> I was talking about a steak that my wife made me, a nice teriyaki steak tonight, and yeah. we're talking about eating it, and she's talking about cutting the fat off the steak. I'm like, that's the best part. Right. And then Mike's agreeing, that's the best part of the steak. What are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. So she's like, I kind of the, the hard, the hard right. fat. The, hard, the white hard thing. I was like, no, you don't eat that. And then Johnny goes, no, you you just suck, suck it. on it and swallow it. <laughs> I'm like, what that the didn't fuck sound did good. you just say? That didn't sound good at all. <laughs> that really didn't sound good at all. Just suck on it and swallow it. Oh, my God. There's oh, questions about and then, Johnny And then now. Dawn goes, well, that's my job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I said, but, okay, well, <laughs> time to go to work. <laughs> But, I want to give. But now, but now I know you have mommy issues <laughs> because you just called your wife mama. No offense, Mrs. Rizzo. One of those. Oh. Wow, man, one of those bad nights. I, uh, oh. I want to give a shout out to Jane Morris. Nice. Jane Morris is our PR, and she is actually our uh, admin in Live to Ride. And it's a two wheel thing. Check out these two groups, man. Live to Ride, and it's a two wheel thing. Okay. Join them today. Check him Geneva. out. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, yes. And, and Steve Parker, man. These guys are with the show and they're the admins for those groups, man. Thank you so much yeah. for all your help you're doing. And of course, no, I did not forget. Hey, is, is he going to be down there in uh, Somerville? Uh, uh, Steve the Parker, man? I, think, I think he will. He went night No, night. we can't call him the candy man. Oh. He, he went went don't night like night that. So what? He don't like that? Wait, 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 Am I still on? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> I just had my own conversation. Sorry, Rod, boss. That was Rod Freeman, and uh, 
Thank you guys for being happens and kicking ass out there. But um <laughs> Oh, have we missed anything? Uh, oh, no, we didn't miss anything cuz I'm one very important thing I do want to talk about shoot. before the end of the show. And uh you know what? I want to talk about uh, Jayron right. Monroe for a second. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> Jayron <clears throat> Excuse me. Jayron has uh, ovarian cancer. And we are trying to raise money for her to get out to Arizona, okay, to um, get the special treatment she can use to that can save her life. Right. Okay? So, actually, I'm doing another uh, benefit show. I'm thinking the Thursday after Thanksgiving, okay, for Javon. And, um, you know, hey, you can save a life, man. So, right. why don't we save a life together? And that's what bikers do because bikers are the best people in the world, Okay. She's a beautiful woman that that just needs our help, okay? Mm-hmm. And Ronnie, okay? Ronnie is her husband, okay? Now, a lot of us might know Ronnie because he was the front man for a band called Metal Church back in the day right. and a band called Trans-Siberian Orchestra, okay? And uh, he's no longer on tour, but he's still playing his music, okay? He still writes and still you know, does all that, records and all that stuff. So, you know what? We want to give them, uh, give her another chance at life. You know, they're a great couple, you know, they're great friends of the show, great friends of Geneva, and um, yeah, we want to help them. We yeah. want to help her right. get to Arizona. Let's get her there so we can save her life. And you know what? Um, if uh, Jane's out there, she can put the uh, thing in the feed, all right? Because we got to get her over to the uh, Sun Ridge Medical Center to get this treatment. And once she gets it, you know what? She can definitely have a life. Right. You know what I mean? So let's all donate to that, okay? Plus, there's a... Um, uh, like a uh, GoFundMe sort of yep. page, mm-hmm. a fundraising thing. And they have uh, PayPal accounts. Go on to MotorcycleMayhemRadio.com. I'm sorry, MotorcycleMayhemRadio. If you want to go on MotorcycleMayhemRadio.com too, right. the Javon stuff's on there as well. Yeah. But um, yeah, let's save a life. Bikers are the best people in the world, are we not? Yep. Mm-hmm. Let's do it together. We can do this. So um, anything uh, else you guys like to add before we... um? Well, what time is it? It's a how, how long do we have? Nine fifty. We have as long as we want. You know why? Yeah, because we. You know, I can stay another three hours. Yeah, another three, four. We hours. We should do an all night show once. It's like all night. I like a marathon. A maybe, marathon. Maybe we do that oh, God, the, no. for the for the benefit. <laughs> we do twenty four hours. Twenty four hour show. Wow, that'd be sick. That would be great, right? Maybe Listen, we will. I'm, I'm, why not? I could get into that. Right? Johnny doing song and dance. A twenty four hour show. We have people coming in and out. Yeah, well, yeah no. John will be sleeping behind the I'll microphone. be sleeping. Uh, <laughs> microphone when it's cheeseburger on his chest. I'll be sucking the fat out. <laughs> Suck, <laughs> sucking it and swallowing. Uh, I want to give a special thank you to Ricky Radman for calling in. Yeah, that was cool. Ratman. Ratman. Rack, Ratman for calling in. Rack. Rack. Rackman. 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 Rackman for calling in. He's doing a fantastic job. Raise, he's, he's trying to raise $22,000 to stop soldier suicide. All right. Okay, so he's riding all over the country. He did over 12,750 miles on a motorcycle so far. Right? Going through bad weather, you know, bad roads, you know, all that shit. And you know what? It's easy to do in a car, but not on the bike, you know? Mm-hmm. And uh, he's going to story. This weekend, he's going to be, uh, go say hi to him at the uh, the Hard Rock in Daytona Beach. So he'll be there this weekend. Is this his, le- is this his last weekend that he's doing it? or He said something about going back up to South Carolina. I mean, uh. Going down to Miami. Miami. And then, yeah, you know, it's we have the flyer up here. Where is it but now? he's going to be finishing at the Hard Rock, right? Yeah, that's what it says. Right. The final lap. So that's definitely for a great cause as well. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, you can check us out. You can friend Mike, uh, theroadcaptain.com. Yep. Check out his app. And uh, you can uh, check out Rod. The cigar guy. Rod's yeah. cigar porn will be uh, in two weeks, I believe, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, what are you gonna have? You have, a, you have a good cigar coming up. It's one of those nice ones. I don't feel like ending the show. Right. Again, I, I got a couple. So, so anyway, Rod. Yes. What, what are we yeah. talking about with cigars? What do we uh, got coming up? We got. Uh, we, I'm gonna go with the uh, a cigar probably next week, two weeks from now. That uh, I'm. It's a step for me. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go with a Java. Ooh. So I'm not gonna say Excellent. which, but two weeks of right. the job. Well, you know what? That that's what this like again. The show is about bikers, okay? Yes. We're not gonna build motorcycles. No. Right? There's so many shows out there that they build the bikes. The show this show is about the biker lifestyle, 
cigars, biker smoke cigars. Mm, right. And what's, what, what do we love doing? We love fucking riding and finding these roadside fucking smoke houses or barbecue places. It's all right? about right. enjoying life. Little bar right. dives. Right, exactly. The bar. Yeah. And we want to hear about them. So Absolutely. if you have a story you'd like to share with us, man, we'd love to hear your stories. You can give us a call at 877-917-5263. You can hit us up on Facebook. Private message me if you want, Johnny Rizzo, if you want to. Just say hello and these right. guys, you know, mm-hmm. and but not Dawn. Okay, because, you know, it's my wife. I mean, that's be weird. Fuck you. Right? No. <laughs> that's kind of weird. Uh, you can private right. message Dawn. Right. Hey, okay, but, 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 but no you, dick pics. If you can't get in touch with Dawn, you can also get done with his mom, Mrs. Rizzo. <laughs> 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 well, my mother once made me a good turn on steak I was thinking about. Oh, yeah. right? oh, so, I can't oh believe that. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, oh. I don't know. Well, it happens. You know, I, what I, mean? I hear you, brother. It happens to the best of us. Uh, don't, and don't forget, it doesn't happen to me. <laughs> 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 what are you talking about, Johnny? <laughs> if, you, if you're in the Somerville area of uh, South Carolina this weekend, come by Nightmare Shop, check yes. it out. You know, we're gonna be having a good time. The fly is going out all over the place. Go on Motorcycle Mayhem Radio, like our page, follow our page, share our page, and come down, man. Come hang out with us. You know, That's gonna be off the hook. Right now, Nightmares. Cutting all the grits all the steaks. He's like, wait, well, you coming down with your mother? <laughs> Somebody has a question for you. Uh, Who's got a question for me? Do you remember the guy? He can't remember his name, but he has a YouTube channel. It's called Scooting America. Yeah, definitely. Oh, this okay. guy, this guy's from Ireland, too. He's awesome. He, he, you know, he said, do you know the fellow bloke? Yeah. A bloke. Hey, I, I I don't know him. I can't I can't I can't believe we reach over the freaking pond. How you doing, well, brother? I don't know him, and but I know the, I know his show. It's awesome. He said he wants to know what you think of all the work he does. I think show. it's fantastic what he does. It's it's fucking awesome, and I would love to have him on the show. I really would. I don't know his name. Yeah, I don't know his name either. But yeah, I do know who exactly who he's talking to about. Scoot in America. He's everywhere. That guy and. He's got a YouTube show that's fucking awesome. Yeah. But again, that's a different start. See, that's the difference here where you got the motorcycle shows about the guys building the bikes. Right. Then you got the motorcycle shows about the guys riding the bikes. Mm-hmm. But now we got the show about the other side, well, kind of off the bikes, like, you know, the lifestyle of a biker. Right. Well, we still ride. That, that, no, on, no, no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying, you know, of course we're on the bikes and we're off the bikes. You know, I'm right. not talking about rides, like, you know, we're doing, not doing videos on the bikes. But that, that, that's the beautiful part about the motorcycle shows that are out there. There's so many different kinds. And this particular kind is about you, the rider himself, the right. biker himself, who everyday life, whatever you do, you know what I mean? Like going, going to the bars, going to the steakhouses or the fucking barbecue places, right. cigar shops, whatever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you're know, finding those cool roads, right? Going to the bike events, going to Daytona Beach. And that's the other thing that we didn't touch on yet, that we always touch on every week, is you know what? Yeah. You got Daytona, right? Yes. Biketoberfest, Bike Week, Myrtle Beach, Sturgis. Those bike weeks are fucking awesome. But you want to have an experience the real nitty-gritty bike and bike weeks. Those are the ones you want to hit. Like, you want to hit the uh, Bike and Trash Nation, Camel City. Correct. All right? You want to hit Texas Iron Rally. Correct. Okay? You want to hit uh, Vet City? Yep. Warrensburg. Warrensburg, New York. Okay? You want to hit also... Um, What's the other one I'm missing here? Uh, Blackthorn. Blackthorn. Blackthorn's fucking great. Blackthorn's awesome. Th- that right? Yep. That would you know th- those are the ones that are nitty gritty ones that you're not gonna get at the bigger ones because right. the bigger ones are so. They, I'm not saying they're bad. I love them. Trust me. Daytona's my baby, but they're so commercialized these days. Right. You're not gonna get the guy trying to get the girl trying to get the hot dog off right. the bike. You're not gonna right. get the fun motorcycle games. Like it's like bring a Woodstock back. You right. Know? Exactly. We're, we're bringing that old school. Right, you know, biker uh, festival, big mountain rally run. back, mm. big, big mountain, mountain run. run. Was, was, yeah. Well, that's what they were wanting to say because they don't want <laughs> no, because it's, it's so personalized. Right, but they don't want that many people there. Yeah. No, but we went there and there had to be I don't know a thousand people. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think well, well, you know, like because it's, it's, it's not it's not a good place to go. But it, but it, but it was it was awesome. I mean, yeah. it was it was so like uh, personal right. like. And they had the bike games, and they had the bands it's playing, like a and the beers. Down home rally, it, it, exactly. You know what it is? I think what we say it sucks because we don't want no one to be there. Right. That's yeah. what it is. I think people are going. Does it really suck? But no, it's it was it's an awesome bike event. It is a great bike event. But we just say it because it is, like you said, it is like very um, 
close, you know. Right. Yeah, everybody's but that's, family. Yeah. That's what this show is about because there's no shows out there that are talking about this. No. There, there are shows out there talking about the Daytonas and the Sturges and all that. No one's talking about the little events that are going to be big one day. Yeah. Okay, the Texas Iron Rally looks fucking insane. I cannot wait to get there. We're going to be there. Right? Carroll City was off the hook. Yeah, Red City was unbelievable. And you know what? People, they don't realize that that's where the real bikers are. That's where the, the, the real events are. Right. You know, all the biker games and all the, you know, the, 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 the fun stuff right. that you don't see. The burnout pits. You know what? I don't think I've ever seen, uh, maybe twice, I've seen two burnouts in Daytona Beach. You don't see a black don't miss shit long. Right. Well, you, but, you they, know, they won't let you do it because you're on you know public streets, right? And, you know, and you're in the towns and stuff. I mean, these these ones that we're talking about are on people's property. Yep. it's on private property, so we get away with a little bit more. Right, yeah, it's a little you more freedom right. yeah. available for. Something. I mean, these these events are going to be off the hook to go to, and those are the ones you're going to remember forever. Because yeah. I think back now to all these events that we've done, right? And I'm thinking about those. I'm thinking about Camel City, Vet City. And, yeah, okay, I went to Myrtle Beach. We went to Daytona. I was like, eh, you know, it was awesome. Right. But I don't have the memories like I have those other ones. Black you know Dawn. I mean? Come Black on. Dawn's Black awesome, Dawn's man. Awesome. I fucking love that place. You know. Um, was this on? Did you mention the, the ride in two weeks in Manhattan, Topless Ride? Oh, no, actually. No, actually I did not. Go Bear if you dare. Yes. Charity. Yes. I was going to save that for next week, but uh, uh, I, had it, I had it written it. I yes. saw. I saw that. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. What is it? Do you know what it is, Mike? It's a Topless Ride. Topless, topless, topless Ride. Topless. Mm. Oh. Go Topless if you dare. In two weeks from now, it's going to be freezing. Well, hey, that's when the nipples, nipples are out. Hey, <laughs> that's the best time right. to see the nipple. I mean, just right. actually hey, see cool. the nips. You know what I mean? But, but is it a char- it's a charity ride? Yes. So, yeah, you know. but um, that's what this show is about about the underground, basically. Not that, am I saying it right? Underground. Yes. Well, it's no. not underground, no. but it's. Well, you know what? This is where you're gonna get a lot of info from. If you have a ride, or if you have a bike event that you know about that we may not hit us up. Yeah, hit us All up, right. man. Let us know. We'll definitely talk about it. You know what I mean? <clears throat> There's one coming up, and I, I'm damn so pissed I didn't put it in my my system here. Um, if Bob Johnson's still watching, uh, Bob, can you please put that link up? Because there's one that's coming up. Um, yeah, he's uh, just talking about one. Yeah, right, it, it, it's it's an indoor bike uh, event, like in the Coliseum, right? <clears throat> the Javits Center. I'll, no, it's something. No, it ain't that one. That's coming but, up in two but, weeks. But that's a that's a bike that's a bike um, show. You know, it's yeah. a rally. But uh, <clears throat> now I'll talk about that one next week. I'll start talking about that one, and. Um, you know, like I said, go to our page, Motorcycle Mayhem Radio, on Facebook. Like, follow, share. We have a, a Twitter account, and we also have a Instagram account. Check out the Road Captain. Check out, well, you got to get your page made, buddy. Yep. yep, 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 working on it. Right, so, hey, man. And you know what? You know what else? Even though yesterday was Veterans Day, we celebrated today. Right. You guys had a day off from it, you know, because of it. I didn't have a day off. But listen, but every day. You should support this country and our troops. Yeah. And every day you should be blessed that you had a veteran out there that actually went out and sacrificed their family and their and sometimes their lives and, and limbs and stuff. So, you know, thank them every day. Not just on today. That's right. Rod, do you have anything you want to add? I, I can't follow that. I, I, I just second that. Absolutely. Right. There yeah. you go. Well, you know what? I can't believe it's... 10 o'clock. It's four minutes after 10. I don't want to end this show. I go all night. I go at least an that's hour. Not what, that's not what Dawn said. These be- <laughs> <laughs> that's my mother you're talking oh, about. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Mrs. Re- Rizzo. Mrs. Rizzo? <laughs> Mrs. Rizzo. 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 Man, I'm having a bad night. I want to suck and swallow but, fat but. and fucking... That's my mother. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. It, it's time for you to end because you're it getting is. punch drunk. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So anyway. Well, he's getting punch drunk, and I got to get out here to get drunk. So, you know what I'm oh, saying? Are you working tomorrow? Uh, what's tomorrow? Tuesday. Tuesday. You know what? I am. <laughs> <laughs> we got a winner. <laughs> Geneva. Now, seriously. Yeah. Get upstairs. Geneva. <laughs> But I want to thank everybody for joining us tonight. Everybody yeah. that called in the show. Uh, you guys are all awesome. And don't forget to um, share whatever you want with us, man. Yep. We are here for you. This is your show. Right. Okay? Motorcycle Mayhem Radio is about you, the bikers. The people that make uh, these events work and happen. Right. So we love you all. Absolutely. And um, mm-hmm. we'll talk to you really soon. All right? And let me just find this button here. I can't find it now. You call it a button? 
I call it a button. Whatever. All right. Everybody, <laughs> have a great night. All right. Peace. Peace.